Hold on, I'm checking in for my flight tomorrow. Don't worry, I'm only going down to Tampa. There's still streams the rest of the week. What game are we playing today? Some weird game I've never heard of. Am I going to the U.S. game? No, I, I am not. I'm not going to watch the U.S. lose seven to nothing to Germany. That does not sound fun to me. Brazil, whoever the hell it is. Sorry, somebody else said Germany in the chat. Championship manager 2024. You're a funny guy. You're a funny guy. I feel like I, I, I feel like I see it. I see the vision. Ebez, thank you for the tier one. Cactus Jack, thank you for the 11 months. West Hammer Massive, thank you so much for the prime. I, that lines up, dude. Welcome to the Hammer Star. Thank you for the three months. Mops Royal, thank you for the seven months. Rhino, thank you for the four months. Regan, thank you for the four months. Toxic Hazard, thank you for the 34 months. TG, thank you for the 20 months. What am I doing? Oh, there we go. I was scrolling the wrong way. Okay. B Phil, thank you for the 18 months. North and Burnsy, thank you so much for the subs. Rocket Marley, FM Wonder Kids, thank you for the, tw the 16 and the 25, respectively. That's how the word respectively works. Pad Parrot said, congratulations. Nikosin, Xanthanin. Chat, it's new save day. How many of you already know what it is? I mean, it literally says it in the title, and I made a video that came out this morning that told you what it is, but you know what it is. Xanthan, I think you're the 34 months. Ugh. I made a vi I did, I, I did, I did make a video telling, telling you who, who it is. Now, I want you guys to understand something, all right? I want you guys, Wes Snipes, thank you for the 29 months. Thank you guys for supporting the stream. The editors are eating good tonight. We're going to be able to let them out of the basement. Squallow, thank you for the two months. Lemon, thank you so much for the seven months. Enjoy the bacon, the emotes, and the lack of ads for the duration. And thank you so much for supporting the stream. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a real challenge. All right, this is going to be a real challenge. Nick RTFM took over his first ever save. Uh, he was managing Manchester United, and he won the Premier League and got to the Champions League final. I don't think he won any other trophies. I don't think he won the League Cup or the FA Cup. We are going to try and have a better season than Nick RTFM did with Manchester United. Now, because he had, obviously, an amazing season, that is a challenge. But, Chad, I don't run from challenges. I am the challenge, all right? We don't run. We don't back down from challenges, all right? We don't back down. We stand up and we scream like a child. But we may win anyways. If we can intimidate them with the scream, we have a chance. Maybe your editors will put the lights up. All right, if you watch the Zealandism channel, you will know. Actually, I, I talk about that in one that comes out today. The wires are managed. I spent a, like most of Sunday doing the wire management, and it is beautiful. I actually might be able to show you. Hold on. Hi. All right, you ready? You might accidentally get some feet content because I'm definitely not wearing my slippers right now. Oh, hold on. I don't know if I can get this below the desk. We're going to have to do, we're going to have to flip the webcam. This is going to be wildly disorienting, but just bear with me, okay? Try to ignore the free toes, okay? Come on. You can get there, webcam. So look, on, this is under the desk. Look at the lack of visible wires underneath such an unbelievably crowded desk. Sorry, I realize this is like vertigo inducing, but the wire for the webcam is not long enough to actually take you all the way below it. But there is like, 
There's that one wire. That is my internet coming in through the wall. That's it. Oh my god. What is that? Oh, never mind. Sorry. Are those toes? There's the other computer. You see that some of the wires are like Velcro to the desk, but I have vertigo now. It gets even worse. Oh my god, it's an earthquake. Oh, Swiftliness, thank you for the 17 months. Subs for toes. That's how we do it here. Froster, thank you for the 15 months. Oh, dear. Knee pick. Where are the foot pedals? Oh, I do. The foot pedals are right over here. I have. You ready? You want to go up a little bit? Oh, dude, that's crazy. Let's bring it back down with the foot pedal. Hands free. Huge. Hands-free foot pedal content. China's out of the World Cup? No, they're not. They have the head-to-head -head on Thailand and everything else was tied. Don't try and pull the wool over my eyes. A unless head-to-head unless -head doesn't matter because everything else was tied. Asian World Cup qualifying. Gotta keep my phone near me. I ordered a sandwich that has not arrived yet. Uh, let's see where uh, they, uh, I th yeah, China's still okay. They lost, but Thailand won, but everything, <sighs> how many of you guys actually care about this? All of you, obviously, all of you all care about Asian World Cup qualifying. What am I even talking about? Uh, yes, China should be good. They lost to South Korea 1-0, Thailand beat Singapore 3-1, which means nine goals for nine goals against, eight points apiece, but China beat Thailand in one of their two matches. Trap Danny, thank you for the five gifted subs. My mind. Isn't Iranian I don't care? Well, you're already through. That's why you don't care. You'd care if you were Thailand and you were out. <laughs> Who are you picking to win the Euros Even uh, if you even care? Of course I care, dude. I love the Euros. I love Copa America. Why would I not care? Lyndon, thank you for the 43 months. Trap Deity, you are freaking awesome. Thank you for giving five people the lack of ads, the bacon, the emotes, access to the subsection of the Discord, you beautiful human being. And thank you for supporting the stream with kindness. Tom Jeffrey, thank you for the prime. A condescending, condescending. That's good. That's a high quality joke right there. I'm going to go with a B plus, Lyndon. I like that one. And thank you for the tier two, dude. As an Indonesian, I really care. Yeah, isn't your, like, big game later today? The other one was Syria, North Korea. Little World War III dust-up, and North Korea is going to the final round of qualifying. <laughs> Just trying not to get assassinated. Flairzy, thank you for the tier one. <laughs> Welcome to the hammers. Enjoy the bacon. Enjoy the emotes, Flairzy. We're out here trying not to get assassinated. Let's go, dear leader. North Korea going to the final round of World Cup qualifying with a big 4-1 win over Myanmar today, and Syria got spanked 5... What was it? 5-0 by Japan? Can I get a Yikes. Also, Africa? Predictably weird. We had a Kenya-Ivory Coast draw today, and Madagascar, like the animals, uh, got a 16th-minute red card but managed to draw against Mali, which is actually a good team. So, really exhilarating early. And then, of course... A literal war happened today. South Sudan against Sudan. Sudan won 3-0. I, lo I love World Cup qualifying so much. By the way, start buying your Sudan merch. They're top of the group right now over Senegal. Start buying the Sudan merch, baby. You have to finish. This is unlike Asia, right? If you win this group, this is a World Cup spot. This is a guaranteed World Cup appearance. This spot right here. Dr. Congo is not in and will not see you now. They're down in third. Mauritania made AFCON and has one point from four matches. They haven't scored. How did you make AFCON? Oh, that's the team that had the dude named AK-47 on it, dude. That's the, this is the team that had uh, Abubakar Kamara who goes by AK-47. Uh, it's a shame we won't get AK-47 at the World Cup. But yeah, some other fun matches later today. Africa's just absolute chaos right now. 
Tajikistan's beating Pakistan. Well, I mean, they're already out, but mad respect. I think Turkmenistan is also already out. Um, they're, <laughs> they're only 11 points away. There's an 11 point match, right? It's all good. And then we've got Cayman Islands. Your last bit of weird World Cup qualifying uh, news is that the Cayman Islands has informed Cuba that they will not play against Cuba. Frankers, thank you for the prime, dude. Thank you for supporting the stream. They have informed Cuba that they're just not going to play them. They're like, ah, we don't like Cuba. We're just not going to play you. Which is wild because the Cayman Islands are coming off their first ever win and are like, you know. They would probably lose, but you don't know that for sure. A little weird. A little, a little, a little, a little, yeah. <laughs> Just going, yeah, I guess, you know, you could, see, you could say that was based. Iraq versus Vietnam. But that hasn't kicked off yet, has it? Vietnam has to win, though, which is not... <laughs> Not the easiest thing in the world. Vietnam. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, oh, it's already over. Indonesia won earlier today. Okay. Indonesia beat the Philippines, so Indonesia is going to the next round. And Vietnam's out. Dude, somebody pour one out for Macwell. Macwell's got to be. Macwell's got to be so sad, dude. Oh, Macwell. Vietnam didn't even get to the last round. Yeah, China scraped by by the actual skin of its teeth over Thailand. Mongolia won today? Dude, how did I miss that? Mongolia didn't play today. They play it friendly? Don't you lie to me. Why are you lying to me like that? Indonesia's carrying Southeast Asia. Hey, final round of World Cup qualifying. You got to get there to make the World Cup. That's it. Octi, thank you for the 16 months, dude. <laughs> My sandwich is seven minutes away. That's a W. Surprised Australia made it through. Oh, come on. The Aussies balling. They actually blew Palestine out today. They, they, they flattened it. But Palestine's also going to the next round. But them losing 5 nothing to Australia is not a good sign for them surviving the next round. But they are going. What nations are getting out, out of a <laughs> CONCACAF? Uh, so this is not the final round of qualifying, at least the way I understand it. Uh, yeah, it's not at all. So, obviously, the Cayman Islands... I don't know, CONCACAF kind of just got started. I think three and a half spots, right? Or, like, three spots and two playoff spots. Three spots, Jamaica, Costa Rica. Those two teams have to make it or they should fire everybody. The third team's kind of up for grabs. But it, Jamaica and Costa Rica should absolutely make it. If you want a fun one, like Curacao or Suriname both have the ability to do it. Panama or Honduras are the boring options. But I don't think Honduras is particularly good right now. Their group is a joke. Cayman Islands, Antigua, Barbuda, Bermuda, and Cuba. Are you kidding me? Um, Trinidad and Tobago is not good enough. Haiti would be fun, but their FA always finds a way to mess it up. Literally always finds a way to mess it up. So reliable. El Salvador, a little last, uh, last cycle El Salvador was good enough. I don't think they are this cycle. Does Oceania still exist in soccer teams? Yes. I don't think they've started qualifying yet. Koala Orange, thank you for the prime. Welcome to the Hammers. Enjoy the bacon and the emotes. Prince, thank you for the 28 months. Congrats on two years and four months. How many Twitch children is that? Nearly three. That is three. You have three children, Prince. Pizza Lars, you have none. Congratulations. Thank you for the two months. Am I right in saying the next World Cup has 64 teams? Uh, you're right in thinking that there are more teams than 32, but there are 48. There are 48 teams, not 64. 48. North Korea being second in the group is wild. Dude, North Korea made the World Cup. North Korea made the World Cup in, uh, what was it? They made the World Cup in 2010. North Korea is, while inconsistent for obvious reasons, capable of being pretty good. North Korea beat Italy at the 1960 World Cup, I think. 60, no, it was the World Cup in England. Six, what was that, 66? North Korea was at that World Cup, and they beat Italy. I just want Jamaica to become World Cup champions. I want to participate in that celebration. Fair enough, dude. The reggae boys of Jamaica, they're a fun team. They're, they're really capable of, 
They give the U.S. a run for their money every single time. Last time we played Jamaica in the Nations League, we needed the last second goal to force extra time. But yeah, Jamaica, the Caribbean Island FAs do struggle um, to keep it together often. Haiti obviously has a whole other set of problems, but like Trinidad and Tobago and Jamaica are the other two best Caribbean teams, and they both of their FAs have been a mess for a long time. What are my thoughts on Guatemala? Them and Nicaragua are generally disappointments as far as Central America goes. Are you good at football in real life? I'm not bad. I'm a pretty good goalkeeper. Uh, my high school team was sixth in the country. I was the backup goalkeeper, and I play a lot of men's league goalkeeper in New York now. So I'm not bad. Um, you know, I, 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 can, I can ping a ball. I've been called the non-tattooed Ederson before. Is this an American knowing ball? No, it's a lie. It's an accent, actually. I use the accent because I feel like being American would make me more appealing to a broader audience for some reason. CMHE, thank you for the prime. Let me load up the save. Backup goalie, carry us. Hey, man, I try. I could do it. Is that the non-tattoo? See, this guy gets it. He understands. Hey, Z. Hi from Sri Lanka. What's up, Sam? Got to be pretty late there. What time, what time is it in Sri Lanka? It's probably like 8, 9 p.m., something like that. Nice. We can cross that bridge when we get there, Boost, but I hope the kids are doing all right, and I appreciate you being here, and thank you for the 34 months, man. Yeah. I always have a lot of save files. I'm always working on a billion different things. That save menu gives me anxiety. You want me to scroll the whole thing? It's so large. Anybody else just have an anxiety attack? Am I triggering a certain number of people? You got to back up your bed? No, dude, we got plenty. Of, I got plenty of room. You know, what are you talking about? I got plenty of room. You need how many terabytes of extra storage just for FM? Oh, all of, uh, just a few of the terabytes. Let's see if I can, okay. I'm trying to, I was trying to track down my sandwich. Can I release FM 25 sooner? Yes. Let me get right on that. This Crusader Kings streamer plays football manager. I was having a lot of fun with Crusader Kings, dude. I might have the world record for save files. This is a lot less than I had like two years ago too. I used to do a lot more like experiments and test things that I... Dude, I simulated the um I simulated the World Cup a thousand times. You know what I mean? What sandwich did I get? I actually tried to get pastrami. Tell me if this has ever happened before. Uh I got pastrami and the place called me and was like, "Hey, I'm out of like we're out of pastrami. What else would you want?" And I was I was I I I, I was like, "You're out of what?" In New York? You're out of pastrami? But they actually called me. Like, from Uber Eats, they called me and was like, and they were like, hey, what else? I didn't, like, I didn't even, I even know you had my number through Uber Eats. <laughs> and uh, so I got a, they, they off, they, they, I was like, well, what else do you have? And they offered me a Wagyu cheesesteak. And I was like, a what? For the same price? 
So I got a Wagyu cheesesteak. We're going to see how that is. I am not a squirrel. Thank you for the 34 months. We'll see how that goes. Um, okay. I am managing Manchester United, which means I am already depressed. But on the bright side, I think that if we, if we keep this we keep this reasonable, we might be able to make the dream work. Because if you watch the video, I nailed the team talk, and we have an excellent club atmosphere. First match is Luton Town on the 12th, but we got our preseason all scheduled and everything. It's not, it's not Cats. No, it's not Cats. Cats is so expensive, dude. Did the staff arrive yet? No, 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 no. They're going to be arriving like... Try to sign this. I don't know who he signed. I didn't watch most of his save. I watched the first stream and the last stream. So I don't know exactly what he did. But that's good. That's good. You know, I wouldn't want to, like, copy what he did anyways. That would just be cheap. All right, I'll just hit continue. I think we've got some staff coming in. Oh, my God, it's a new save. <gasps> this is a fun challenge, too. I don't know if I've... I haven't coached Manchester United since they fired me in 2019, too. Like an FM19. It's the last time I got fired. What? Hey, Skipper, thank you for the five gifted subs. Thank you for making five people's days, supporting the stream with kindness. Diamande would be fun, FM enjoyer, if only I had any money at all. Thank you for the 29 months. Ultimo Big Truck, thank you for the 31 months. I appreciate it a lot. That's a long time. I'm a little worried. This guy seems to have been at my location for a couple of minutes and nothing's happened. I, 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 <laughs> Sorry, Alex Zeelinson. My last name's Shannon, dude. That works. That converts, you know? I can pass. The name comes from Scotland, actually, at least where it comes from for me. Yacht Rocker Man, thank you for the 14 months, though. I, I hope I'm more Sir Alex Zeelandson than uh, than than Zeeland Ten Hog. No offense to Ten Hog. We are trying to sell a few people, though. I think we're trying to sell um, trying to sell Ericsson. Je know what I'm saying. Oh, did I get rid of my midweek match? That I want to, I know I already have a midweek match. I don't need another midweek match. I'm fine, brother. If you're wondering why the save is already started, I started it as part of my YouTube video today. Oh, Lindelof. Oh, it's a loan with a mandatory future fee, and they pay none of his wage for the entire year. play Maguire up top. I'm about to. I'm about to. Okay, now he's finally calling. Per Tough sandwich to track down, apparently. Sandwich man is is lost. I don't blame him. You know, it was a big mix-up. I mean, they had to... I'm rejecting this offer, by the way. I don't know if I want to get rid of Lindelof, though. I mean, it's... With, with the lack... The startling lack of resources that I have, I don't know if we're going to be able to get a better center back in than, than Lindelof. That's so depressing. Unless I can get like the act like cover his wage and get the actual fifteen million in. 
I offered Erickson out, right? We already got that for the 25? Yeah. Send it. Thank you, sir. NLN King, thank you for the 36 months. Morning, Z. How's it going? It's going great. Good to see you, dude. Um, Yeet Varane. No, dude, Varane's our best center back. I get that he's, you know, it's Varane, funny Varane stuff, but, like, he's our best center back. All right, if I can get 20 million for Erickson, I'd take that in a heartbeat. Free up the wage, free up the, uh... Okay, let's see what my scouts found. Christian Nokvi Hlinson. I need to make a few short lists. Uh, we'll make a Wonder Kids short list. We'll make a loans. And we'll make a must have. Okay. You gotta combine 200 million for Casimir and Varane from Saudi. All right, I think he's at my door. We have sandwich. Just a great day to be alive, chat. Sandwich in hand. Oh, they came with sauce. Oh, are these like extra peppers? Well, I guess I did get the Wagyu cheesesteak. It's not what I ordered, but they didn't have any pastrami, so they called me if you weren't here for that story. Hello, Wagyu cheesesteak. I'm going to do terrible things to you. Where did I move IRL? Uh, Narnia. No, I, li I still live in New York. I just moved to a different place. We wanted more space, and we've got it. We've got it. So I'm intrigued that you're saying that um, you went to the Varane Casemiro sale and got a ton of money. I would love to sell Casemiro for any amount of money. Would I? Yeah, yeah, I would. That wage is reprehensible. I know I'm only playing one year. So I got to kind of change my mindset. Normally, I'm like always building for sustained success here. But if I think Casemiro can do a job for one year, then I need to keep him. And he's not bad for sure. What time is it in New York right now? Eating time. Wagyu cheesesteak eating time. In case you ever wanted to know what a Wagyu cheesesteak looks like. Look at that. Look at that little devil. Oh. oh, oh, man, this sandwich could do just, this sandwich could do anything to me. Outrageous. Wow. <laughs> uh, nice, I'm eating a dates and fruits protein bar made in the Czech Republic. You know what? Congrats to you eating healthier than me. It doesn't look like I'm not getting like any Saudi interest in the people that I want Saudi interest in. So you got 200 million for Varane and Casemiro. I would love to do that. We'll offer him out. You know what? We'll offer the boys out. We'll see. We'll see what happens. He wouldn't react well to being offered out. Okay, but Varane doesn't care. Varane doesn't give a hoot or a holler. So we're going to go ahead and give him a... Right, but I shouldn't skip this. We got to focus. All right. Ezekiel Ceballos. I do like Ezekiel Ceballos. 
Oh, Juan Sforza, he's fun. I had Juan Sforza in my last save. Oh, my guy just post up in Argentina. Mr. Jones. Nico Romero. This guy looks good. Christian Norgard of Brentford. I know you. Who do I think advances with Qatar in their World Cup qualifying route? I'm rooting, like, India. I'm rooting for India, right? But it could be all three of the teams. Uh, Sudan beat South Sudan. The, su the northern version of Sudan won. Appreciate you asking. I'm glad I had the answer for you. Ah, Woot Faze. A minus. That was a good one. That was a good dad joke. That was Klaus Mausen. Thank you for the 19 months. Give them their due. That was a tremendous dad joke. Will I make any content on the Euros? Uh, yeah, probably. It's mostly on Zealandism, though. If you guys have not watched the Zealandism channel before, all right, I've got some extra peppers and stuff. I'm going to put that on my Wagyu cheesesteak here. Nice. Sautéed uh, bell peppers. Maddie, thank you for the 10 months. So who are you rooting for at the Euros? I didn't quite catch that. But if you guys listen to the um if you guys listen to the player manager podcast that I do with Julian Gressel of Inter Miami, uh we the episode that comes out tomorrow, we do our predictions for Copa America and the Euros. Love all the Zealandism videos, been a daily routine for me, Fluis. I'm I'm glad you enjoy it, dude. Who should I gamble on this Euros? Don't gamble, bro. Don't gamble. Listen to me. I mean, you can do whatever the hell you want. It's a free world, right? But why do you think these gambling companies have so much money? Because the majority of people lose. It's a bad bet. Or else they wouldn't be making any money. Anytime you see a gambling commercial, you should be like, oh, bro, how did they pay for that? <laughs> no, I don't. I'm not, I have a lot of my friends gamble. I don't, I don't hate on anybody for gambling. I just, it always confused me. Like, I never really got into it, obviously. Brazilian Fury, thank you for the 21 months. What's up, dude? One, that's sick. Two, Hoybier has 20 natural fitness. I don't know why I didn't know that. You just need the dog in you. True. I just don't have that dog in me. That's the real mistake I made. Just a distinct lack of wolf. Pape Matosar. Keep an eye on him. Lucheril Gertruda. Gertruda. 
They really like loot. Uh, he's 60 million. Izak would be a crazy get, but... He is a little expensive. Evan Ferguson's probably not good enough for this one season. Sheik Dukure. Hey, Sutton, thank you for the nine months. I appreciate it. Let's see what you got. Uh, um, B minus. <laughs> that was so painful. And Smith, thank you for the 13 months. But Sutton United, thank you for the nine. I appreciate you supporting the stream, dude. Do y'all look spicy today? I always look spicy. Thank you. <laughs> going to spoons? Oh, you're going to weather spoons? Oh, get a Guinness, dude. Get a Guinness. That or... Oh, what's it called? Smittix. I love a good Smittix. They never have it over in the United States. The Smittix is solid. I don't know if it's considered a terrible beer or something. I'm not exactly like a connoisseur of the beers, but... Guinness or Smittix? Am I nervous that I won't beat a FIFA YouTuber at FM? Yes. Absolutely, I am nervous. I mean, he had a really, really good season. I think we all know that in Football Manager, there, there are always a lot of factors that you can't control. But you know what? We're going to do our absolute best. And how cool would it be if we did manage to actually beat what he did, you know? All right, we sold Charlie McNeil for 250000 Eat it, Charles. Be all right. Do you ever play with hidden attributes? You mean like a skin where I can't see the attributes of... Um... Here, let me find somebody. Like, I have attributes are hidden on other players. You're talking about a skin where you can't see attributes anywhere? I've actually never played that way. I am interested in it, but I haven't done it yet. <sighs> A beer is good only if you think it's good. Well, then I'm very easy to please the beer department. Wow, yeah, look at that. Look at all those offers I failed to attract. Looking to generate funds with all you broke boys. What are you doing? All right, we need to make one of those sales. That'd be great. Biggest gap on the team, I think, is uh, on the wings, though. We don't really have... Any other wing forward? So let's take a gander at, now that we've expanded our knowledge base a little bit, like loan listed guys, and then see who's on there. So Lewis Miley's, oh, he's a little slow. Just have no money. I'll be all right, all right. It just takes some time. Four million? I can make something happen with that. I can make something happen with that. Let me hit the short list real quick. Why don't we get this guy for an upfront payment of three?
the Changuito. I like that. He's got the right hair. You know? He's very injury prone. He's minorly injury prone. All right, you know. What about Dybala? I liked the Diamande shout, but Dybala is an excellent, like, deep cut shout because that's exactly the type of player that I would sign here. It doesn't bring the heat and energy, though, to be on the outside. Can't believe that didn't work. Can't believe that didn't work. <laughs> what position am I trying to strengthen? I think we need wings. I would love to get another center back. Uh, I'm actually okay with the fullback situation, but we are going to need to get a left back into the team. I really just need to sell one of these fat cats that's making over $10 million a year. One of these jabronis. Lindelof and Erickson both leaving, even not for a lot of money, would give me so much freedom. Uh, we're keen to move him. Uh, watch this space. There is interest. I see the interest. Can we just hire an intermediary now? I might do that for Lindelof. Uh, Inter prepared to make an offer? Yes! 15 million from Inter? Yes! Yes! Why are you holding out on me? I just offered him out for that much. Yes! 15 million for Victor Lindelof to enter? Yeah, yes, 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 yes. Sounds excellent. A superb deal, my good man. Why am I looking at it and now I don't like it? What the hell's wrong with me? Now I'm looking at it and I'm like, whoa, well, actually. Yo, somebody just redeemed the Discord VIP. That does not happen very often. That's 600,000 bacon, dude. Send the hype to Sheck Diesel for dropping a Discord VIP redemption. Cubon, thank you for the 19 months. That means you have access to all the parts of the Discord always. And you get a real special, cool color and name and everything in the Discord. Huge shout out to Sheck Diesel. Congratulations on 600,000 bacon and a Discord VIP badge. And Hubon, thank you again for the 19 months. Storm Hunter, thank you for the two years. Congrats on your diamond bank. And Aqueous, thank you for the prime. And a Wapping Bloke, thank you for the, <laughs> the 23 months. Dr. Gohan, thank you for the prime. And Sheck Diesel with the 25 months. Salute. Brother, salute. Glenn Hill, thank you for the five months in the prime as well. I appreciate you, dude. Thank you to everybody that supports the stream, allows the uh, allows the editors to, to leave the editing basement every now and again. Tom, I saw you were here. Very appreciative, I'm sure. But really, it, it you guys subscribing is what allows us to do those videos like going to the Faroe Islands. And as long as you enjoy stuff like that, it's you guys that make it possible. SJB, thank you for the three months. Why do I not want to sell Lindelof now? How much can I get? A Diamante, they're going to want like 100 million. What about Inacio? Uh, 38 to 51. Oh, I can do it, can't I? I can do it. I could totally do it. If I sell Lindelof, I'd be able to get Inacio, wouldn't I? I could totally do it, can't I? I love Gonzalo Inacio. 
What about the other Portuguese one? Um, Model citizen, Antonio Silva. He's not left-footed, though. He's a little more expensive. It's also a little better. Uh, let, we'll, we'll just, uh, for, the, for, for the hell of it, I will give Usman Diamande a scout, because apparently they're not asking for too much right now, and I love Usman Diamande. How about Leonidas Sturgiu? God, he really sucks now, doesn't he? I'll give him a scout just to see. He is in the Swiss national team. There's a cheaper option. Maybe we pick him up as a fourth center back. Copy? Wait, did Nick sign Diamande? If he signed Diamande, I can't sign Diamande. That would just be wrong. Oh, he got Silva. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, I was, I, you know what? Fine, I won't sign Antonio Silva. All right. He got Antonio. I won't sign Antonio Silva. Give Evans a six-year contract? No. But I will. Scalvini's a good shout. I will sniff around Giorgio Scalvini. God, he's so expensive. I mean, yeah, but he... I don't think he's worth it up front right now. What about Jonathan Ta? What do you think, Jonathan Ta? Oh, that's a, that's a shout. Zealand, that is a shout, you absolute beast. Jonathan Taw is cheaper than all of them. Oh, thanks, Brain. Oh, spicy pepper. Uh, water. We need water. Ugh. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. Just a hot pepper. Who said this guy was slow, by the way? You see that 16 to 19 pace at 6'5? Come on now. Come on now. India scored? India! India! They are leading Qatar. That means they're safe. Kuwait and Afghanistan are drawing. That means India is going to the next round. This is um, Sunil Chetri's done, right? He's he's gone. It's the post Sunil. Who is this guy? What is that hair? Stop it! Stop it! Oh, it's my new favorite player, Udanta Singh. Oh, yes. Plays for FC Goa, rocking the full. I want to speak to the manager. Just outstanding hair there from Udanta No, that's the lead singer for My Chemical Romance. Sorry, that's not a Karen haircut. I got it mixed up. It's my bad. Oh, India. Starting Udanta Singh, everybody's hero in the midfield. Where are you? <laughs> Yeah, but right now, as long as Afghanistan doesn't win by multiple goals, I think India's fine. Oh, actually, that's not true. If Kuwait wins... Oh, if... Yeah, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. India's safe as long as they win. 
If India beats Qatar, they are going to the next round of World Cup qualifying over Afghanistan, uh, Bananistan, and Kuwait. Find a woman like that. Future fee upon winning the Era Divisie. Uh, or you know what? No, I am not. I'm playing one season. Future fees, they don't matter to me. Oh, Maxence Lacroix. I love Maxence Lacroix. Worth the scalp. He's gotten a little worse in the game, but definitely worth the scalp. And that brings up the other one. Benoit Badiachil. Oh, yeah. Wait, he went to Chelsea. Dang it. He's, Chelsea's going to be like, well, a cool $3, $3 billion. He's all yours for $3 billion. No way. All right, well, I need a winger, too. I need a winger, and I'd love to add a midfielder and a left back. Can I buy a whole new team? I feel like I could do a really good job with that. Give me that Chelsea budget. Watch what I can do. I can't recall Sancho for 30 days. Javon Miners, brother. Thank you for the 46 months. Yale, yeah. Derlogi, thank you for the 10 months. Octopus, thank you so much for the six months. Congrats on the silver bacon. SJB, thank you for the three months. I appreciate that. You will sign 30 two and a half star players. I'd love that. That would be great. Stop. Stop doing this. Just stop it. Somebody just agree to take him off of my hands right now. I don't know who's available on my team or not, so we're just going to let my assistant coach pick the team, and we drew Montpellier 3-3. That's all right. It's a learning process. Woman like that. I have four. Uh, none of them are, like, on retainer, but I have four people that, like, when I have an idea, I'll send them a message and be like, hey, you feel like you want to do this? But there are a ton of great database editors. You just look around on Twitter, really. <sighs> that was another spicy one. It's good, but a few of the peppers in this one are a little spicier. The do do do. Scott McTominay. We're waiting for some scouting to get in. Ah, Brian Mbomo. Santi Imenev. How much is Taiwo Awaniyi? Is he crazy expensive or is he is he cool? <laughs> I'd sign Bergvine. He would help. Twenty-four to twenty-eight. Always been a big fan of Tywell. Do 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 do. God, the team's like all hurt too. Thank goodness. My my, uh, the vast majority of my staff is finally going to start to sign. Yeah, just recommend to signing. You know, if you got a you got a recommendation, give me the opportunity to fire the sports scientist. Don't just do that to me. Don't just do that to me, you fool. 
I guarantee you I'm going to be able to find some sports scientists that are a little better. Xavier Clemente. Oh, you want to be the head of sports science? <laughs> Nobody cares. All right. Why do you want to be the head of sports science? Nobody, like... I heard that job sucks. You're the head of sports science at FC Cincinnati. If you don't take this at Manchester United, thank you. Some of my faith has been restored. Nice pay raise. You're going to be fine. All right. The two bad... Oops. Sorry. Not the head of sports science. The two bad sports scientists. Come with me. I'm taking you out back. We're launching you into the sun, paying a total of $700,000 to launch you into the sun, apparently. Easy. I like the look of FM, but I have little self-control and I would waste the rest of the year playing it. Oh, don't be silly. Just ask me. I wasted the rest of my life. First time hopping in the streams, he better be entertaining. The forehead looks more exquisite on Twitch. Hold on, let me give you, give you a nice close-up there. Could land a Boeing 747 on that bad boy. I know, I get contacted by the military to be a mobile runway. Hey, look up! We make Anthony a saint on this save, how good will that be? Hey, if Anthony wins me the league, he gets to be whatever he wants. Long move along, move along like you always do. Biz gone, move along, move along. It's along, move along, move along. Yeah. Hey, my assistant coach is in. Holla friggin' Louia, man. You know what I'm saying? Freaking crazy, dude. There's a taken cold. All right. Signed up all them coaches, so life's going to be good. I'm a little worried about... I don't know. We have so many scouts and uh, all those people. It's kind of ridiculous. All right, let's see how many got canceled. I don't think any did. Nice. Nobody's sprecking the English. There it is. Do, do, do. I'm delighted to welcome Andrea. Welcome to the team. Now I've, I've got, you know, a staff, certain staffy staff to be in the way. Liam, thank you for the six months in advance, dude. Thank you for supporting the stream. I swear the last time I checked the background, the people wasn't there. What are you talking about? He's always there. He's always watching. And you know, some people tell me that they see him move around in the background, but I think they're just making it up, you know? Smarties, thank you for the 17 months. Delta, thank you for the prime. But uh, Smarties, he won the league and made the Champions League finals. So we've taken off a very difficult challenge here. We've bitten off a lot. But we're moving Lindelof. That's going to free us up to get somebody good in. Gary Walker close to signing. Nice. Loan approach. Sell out expected for the Barca match. Obviously. We're kind of a big deal. Oh. 
Eric Dubray. You are better than Adam Warburton, and you will take his job. And I can't wait for all these recommended signings to hit. They're going to be awesome. Oh! Dang it! Yeah, just let me know if the peepa starts to creep towards the back of my head. I just want to be prepared if I need to get in a fight or something, you know? Triple Taco, thank you for the prime. Oh, we're on a throwback playlist today for sure. Wait, hold on. You know who sings this song, actually? My boy Udanta Singh from FC Goa. He would rock this song. He's in an excellent cover band that does great work with this song, actually. You got to check him out sometime. What the? What just happened to my schedule? What the hell, man? Get these friendlies off my schedule. Where did the Gladbach match come from? Going down, down, and an idiot around. Dude, what the hell? Did, my, my calendar just exploded. Ajax, Colm, Palermo. I'm okay with the Ajax match, but this Palermo one, it, we don't have enough guys for this. Palermo and Colm. I'm going to get rid of Palermo and Colm. I think they had previously agreed things. We will uh, cancel selected friendly matches, and then Gladbach, we got to cancel as well. Okay, so I will take the Ajax match. That seems nice. Do a nice little midweek, but what the... Do I, do I have my... Resp did I my responsibilities get adjusted? No, you don't arrange friendly matches. Um, okay. We do have Andrea Moldera, who's going to lead the friendlies, which is good. Staff hiring. Not head of youth development. I have a technical director now who's handling under 21 staff. Uh, all right. This is what Lionel Lefleur. Lionel Lefleur, you're actually just going to, you're going to be handling that as well. Okay. Advice and reports. Get my recruiting advice from Aurelio Pereira, the legend. Definitely. Um, development advice. I'm going to go ahead and get that from Lionel LaFleur. Player reports are going to come from my... I think Henrik Christofferson, right? He's very good. So player reports are going to come from general manager Henrik Christofferson. Player development information is also going to come from Lionel LeFleur. Loan feedback is going to come from Ivan Sola. Coaching advice is going to come from... Don't care about the last two. I think Brian Kidd's probably the best choice. He's the best overall. And then staffing advice is obviously going to come from Lionel LeFleur. That is his job. Player target frequency every week. Staff meeting every month. Uh, analyst report frequency every month. That is fine. Scouting provides, uh, okay, an analysis and everything. Scouting on the opposition. Assigning scouts and handling scouting meetings is definitely me. Cool. Transfers and contracts should be all me. Yeah, offer out via transfer room. We'll go ahead and set this up so it's 100% of the salary and uh, expected playing time at regular starter. Just can't help myself. That's probably not going to be relevant. Media. Uh, 10 new signing press conferences, domestic cup press conferences, continental cup press conferences, and broadcast interviews. All Andrea Moldira, but I'll do new signings. Training, receive training emails. Yes, tactics. Provides team selection advice. I'm lazy. I didn't really care. I'm not trying to like chirp Manchester United or anything. But uh, they're not in the basic logo pack, then they don't, you know, they don't get to have their logo in the game. Uh, like, they made that executive decision. It wasn't me. 
All right, our preseason training is now set. Our staff is in place. Our staff responsibilities are handled. Luke, thank you for the two months. Thank you so much for supporting the stream. Aiden, thank you for the 13 months. I'm Kay, thank you for the 37 months. Yeah, I like I know it's out there. I'm just I'm just kind of lazy. What's the CK3 streamer doing on FM? Hey man, I love CK3, okay? Nika Romero. Oh, they're signing him for 1.7 million. I want to do that. I want to I want to do that. I want to I want to sign him for that amount of money. Please. Astana is the best club in Kazakhstan. At least they have them. Uh, uh. So if you wanted to get like a jump start on the whole thing, you'd start with Astana. Uh, Miguel, let me check right now. The donation stuff's been weird for a little bit. Let me give it a let me give it a look see. Thank you for telling me. There's no, nothing wrong with that. All right, so uh, oh, so it was because it was one dollar because basically it's it's text to speech. So if we made it one dollar, then people could spam it. That at five, you have to find like the happy medium. Streaming's weird. You have to find the happy medium between like where people can't spam it, but people still have access to TTS. And that's five dollars. But I'll read it out. Do you think uh, Gilkarish or Emerim will be sold? Uh, I think both will be sold. Uh, and I'm very, I'm very sorry that that might adversely affect your physical health as a sporting fan. But I think. Jokeris and, and Amarim are both going to be not at the club next year. Oh, freaking Grogers. Chat, pour one out for freaking Grogers. Thailand is out of World Cup qualifying on results between teams. Brutal. I'm halfway gone. Thailand needed one more goal, dude, against Singapore. One more goal against Singapore, but they couldn't find it. Moses, thank you for the 28 months. Leave my Red Sea alone. <laughs> Moses, are you parting something again? Calm down. It's just a bathtub. I haven't heard this song in a decade. All right, Victor, get out of here, Victor. You've been a great servant of the club. You get to go play at Inter. That's not a bad gig, dude. That is not a bad gig. Piotr Shalinski? Yeah, but they'd ask for a bucket right 22 what the fiddle sticks let's go on What do white stars mean? Oh, it's a race thing. Oh, it just means it's in a range. The white stars are like the range that the rating could be in. Oh. Piotr Shalinsky. Ah. 
Um, I look the twenty. How is he available for twenty two million? And I don't have the twenty two million to make it happen. God, I'd love Guido Rodriguez. I don't know if I'd love Indusiri, but we can take a look at it. Uh, it's good to have one goalkeeper that doesn't suck in case we make a big sale. Mamardish Vili, we're never going to have that amount of money. That's just like your opinion, man. <laughs> oh, all right. Hot shot. See, I was only doing this because I thought it was stupid, uh, stupid cheap is the thing. But I would gladly do the. Oh, my dude. That is a proper GG, dude. 100 tier two subs, is that what that said? Dude, 100 tier two subs. JCB, shout out to JCB, thank you so much. For a hundred tier twos, if you got one, be sure to say thank you. The Tycoon Takeover, dude. But Donnie, thank you for the two months. Wayo, thank you so much for the Prime. Thank you, brother, for supporting the stream. I, I It blows my mind anytime somebody feels like I've made that kind of an impact or, or, or whatever. So it blows my mind anytime somebody feels worthy of giving me one sub, let alone a hundred tier twos. I don't even know what to say. But thank you so much. Uh, and everybody else obviously already sending their thanks your way. But if you got it, enjoy your lack of ads. Thank you so much for supporting the stream, JCB. I, I cannot say thank you enough. Superior Breed, thank you for the prime. But that is absolutely crazy. I've never... I've been streaming since 2018. I have never gotten that many Tier 2 subs gifted ever. Jaxers, thank you so much for the prime. You like to do that? Brother, I don't even know what you're talking about, but I appreciate it. I think I'm blacked out for a little bit. JCB, thank you. Isu, thank you so much for the 18 months of the Prime. Oh, but ser seriously, that's that's crazy. That is actually crazy. Well, it's going to be really embarrassing if we don't win the league after that. <laughs> Come on, man. Give me the million dollars up front. Give me the million dollars up front. I got five and a half, and after 50 league appearances, I'll pay you a million. Oh, my goodness. I'll pay you a million and a half after 50 league appearances. This deal cannot possibly be any more complicated. Thank you. I just want to talk to Nicholas Romero. No! Arsenal's making a move for Juan Sforza. God, it's getting complex in here. But JCB, you, you're, you're instantly one of the, the all-time hammers, dude. That is, like, actually just one of the craziest things that's ever happened to this channel in, in six years. Uh, <laughs> Will, thank you for the Prime. Ingenium, thank you so much for the, uh, for the Prime. Uh, I, pre I appreciate that so much. That way, I mean, that, that's the sort of thing that, like, you know, that, 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 that sort of thing pays an editor's wage you know, for, for a month. That's the sort of thing that does that. Like that, that, that's, that makes a difference on a, on a, on an actual, actually like massive level. 
God, the songs on this playlist are freaking amazing. What, are they, what reward do the editors get for that sort of donation? Like 30 minutes of yard time, which is crazy. <laughs> we choose one editor with a wheel and remove them from the basement and put them in an office. <laughs> That's what, that's too much to be. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. You're totally right. Way too much. We're spoiling them. But do you guys think we need Juan Sforza or not? I got to refocus. You think we need Juan Sforza? Get another center mid. You don't like him? I like him. Get Joe Bellingham. Will he actually play? Probably play 15 to 20 matches in the season. Cool last name. I had this guy at Saint at the end in my journeyman save. The guy feels bang average. Why are we looking at him? Because that's an improvement <laughs> for our team. Why are we looking at this bang average player? Well, I have some bad news. Oh, sweet, really? The Euros Forum is live in the Discord? Awesome. If only I remembered how to work my Discord. Oh, there it is. Okay. So if you were part of the Discord, the world's largest football manager Discord, in a Discord of nearly 30,000 people just vibe and chatting about anything, then you will notice that there is now a Euro 2024 chat that has opened up a forum, a Reddit-style uh, forum where you can post things and discuss things and it's quite awesome uh and so beautiful it is it now exists uh so if you want to to be involved as some of you are already getting involved uh in the you know, our discord has so many different fun nooks and crannies my favorite section is is this section with like the fm multiplayer and fpl and paradox games and civ uh nfl's dormant obviously right now but the discord's very fun if you're ever looking for community or to just talk about the euros Shout out to the mods who got that forum set up for the Euros a couple days in advance. OMB, thank you for the prime. I appreciate it. Thank you for supporting the stream, brother. Thank you. And thank you, Gromzy, for the 50 bits. Okay. I really want Zelensky, but he's a little slow. Uh... This is me doing, uh, bullying you to do your desk. And, hey, my desk is done. My desk is completely done. I did the wire management and everything. Zelensky doesn't fit the stupid and athletic. I know, I know. Will I be playing Civ 7? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I will be. You are slow? Hey, the word you're looking for is methodical. Maybe that's the, yeah, that, you're right. That's the word I should be using for Zelensky. I don't know what I'm doing. We need a genius trait. True. We do. I am recalling Sancho. Has it been 30 days? No. Um, we will be able to recall him, though. Eventually. The other guys suck. Hannibal and Donnie. I'm just not using Mason Greenwood. And then Brandon Williams. Oh, sue me. I might bring him back just so that we have a depth option at fullback. Bring back Donnie? No, he's terrible in FM. Oh, 
The funny thing is, if Lesotho is finished, <laughs> that means that a new team rises. Kono Komoros is now. Oh, Rwanda's top of the group. A victory for hotels everywhere. Rwanda's top of the group with South Africa and Nigeria in it. This is what dreams are made of. The only team they have, who have they not played? They've played Zimbabwe, South Africa, Rwanda. Oh, they haven't played Nigeria. Well, it's not like Nigeria's lighting the world on fire. They haven't won a game yet. And they drew Lesotho, who Rwanda's beating. So tell me why Rwanda can't win that game against Nigeria, okay? Rwanda's top of the group. Lesotho's losing at halftime. Comoros, which has had a very good start, uh, is drawing Chad. But it's definitely not over. If Comoros can find a goal, they're top of the group, baby. Comoros finds a goal, they're top of the group. Because their loss is to Madagascar. They beat Ghana, so they have the head-to-head. -head. They would go top of the group with one goal against Chad right now. But they can't drop points against Chad. Chad's lost every game so far. Which is uh, very not Chad of them. All right, Brandon Williams is a break glass in case of emergency signing. Romero would be a nice pickup. He doesn't require registration for the league because he's under 21. We're not going to be looking for a loan. We will send him on an intensive language course. God, his wage demands are so low. I'm going to get rid of this. And then we'll just pay him 1.19 million. Oh, my. Nicholas Romero has no idea how good he is. An excellent fourth center back acquired for just a million dollars up front. That is hashtag stonks. Just a crazy good deal. Not that we care. I mean, we care about the good deal in the short term. Zelensky's. Oh, my God, Martial, you. I don't have a striker. Uh, BVB, Lucas, thank you so much for the tier one, dude. How many strikers do we got? Zero. Get fuel, Krug. Dude, do not tempt me with a good time. Anything less than 20 million. <laughs> I love Nicholas Fuel Krug in real life. He is so good. So fun to watch. Alright, Taiwo Awani is the best option. He's definitely the best option. Where's Taiwo? I believe in Taiwo Awani. Nottingham Forest superstar. Hey, can we loan? I realize that, but I'm thinking an optional future fee, you know, like 40 million. 30, yeah, you know, I'm thinking like 35 million. Right, right. Playing hard to get. I see you. I see you. Always playing hard to get. You know, that's the way you do it. That's just the way you do it. I got 30 million in my transfer budget with that wage from Lindelof that I got rid of, which is nice. God, I want to get rid of Anthony Martial so bad. Maguire, who's interested? Tottenham, you say? There's a lot of good center backs out there that I could get for a lot less money than Harry Maguire. He wouldn't react. You f oh, give me a lobotomy already. Wouldn't react well to being offered out. Yeah, all right. <sighs> Milik and Gilchrist are not bad shouts. Problem is, we are working on a shoestring budget to improve this team. I've got shoestrings bigger than this budget, actually. Mantha, nice manners. Thank you for saying thank you. The city might let you loan Alvarez. That's insane. I'm going to try it. I mean, that's really kind of crazy. Oh, the playing. Oh, my God. The fee. Not the, the, the price. 
the unused monthly monthly fee is eight million dollars. The loan costs forty eight million dollars. The loan costs forty eight million dollars. A hundred if he doesn't play. Brother, what the f is that? It's the 116th charge. Mandatory fee of 156 million. I hadn't even gotten to that part. All right, so that didn't work. What about Goretzka? Who uh, I have always liked Leon Goretzka as well. This is like ideal. Uh, the loan, total cost of the loan will be 31 million. That includes the wage, obviously, but that's 10, 11 million in just monthly fees. And then a mandatory future fee of 45 million. I like the shouts, but it ain't happening. Why are you rated so high? Oh, Bertrand Traore. I have always liked Bertrand Traore. He's available for loan for some reason, probably because they don't think he's very good. But I think he's fine. And that's what's important. My opinion's the only one that matters. Mishraoui's a fullback. I mean, I think he can play a little midfield, but... Dude, there's no way. There is no way Monty's tell is available for loan. I'm only doing it because if he is, I'm going to... Uh, it's like 10 million fee with obviously fat bonuses for winning the FA Cup and Champions League, but it's not crazy. It's not patently insane. I like Matt Estelle. Bertrand. What a, what a nifty little player Bertrand Traore is. Baby, I want something else. Wow, nobody I know on the transfer list. Okay. Ah! You. God, he's got game, doesn't he? Oh, Jonathan Ta. Oh, but it's his release clause. That would be like my entire transfer budget to get Jonathan Ta, but he's so good. Who was trying to tell me earlier that this guy isn't good? All right. Monkey, thank you so much for the prime. What song is this? You can always hit exclamation point song and it will tell you. We do have nifty commands here. Wait for McGuire to go? I'm not trying to get McGuire to leave. I want something else. Iorelli isn't very good. He's in the German national team, and I believe he's working on a move to Bayern as we speak. Um, he also was part of, you know, the unbeaten German champions. Other than that, though. Uh, that is not a bad idea. I like what you just said. Somebody just... Uh, I was talking about the free people. Contracts that are expired. Do I have all, or do I just know a ton of players? Okay, yeah, it's like 15,000 is crazy. Okay. Them brother's thirsty. Get him some pace. His brother's thirsty. Get him some pace. So there, dude's just like a track star in the U.S. He's a runner. He's a track. Okay, uh, we're gonna go old school. You ready? International, international caps one. 
Don't give me any of those stupid nations. Give me the good ones. Somebody that is not in a retirement home that has an appearance for Argentina. Franco Zuccolini. Sounds like an appetizer. Belgium. Benin. Nice shout. Guys, Indrix in the chat. What's up, dude? <laughs> yeah, I know. I just didn't want to do the world rap thing. I'll do the world rap thing. The world rap thing's so much less exciting. Like, I'm going to... Oh, my God, Fellaini, he's retiring. Dang it. Alexand... Yes. 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 Trial. <laughs> Alexander Pato. He's left Sao Paulo. He's available. Uh, Anwar El Ghazi. Play 28. You know, he actually might be a very intelligent pickup here. Anwar El Ghazi. Um, we need depth at wing. I'm not looking for a superstar. We just need somebody that can play a few matches without looking like he doesn't belong. That's it, baby. That's it, Jorfino. Uh, he doesn't look very good, does he? But we don't know for sure, do we? We, do, we don't know for sure. Jorfino, you want to come kick a ball around? Uh, Jose Izquierdo. You were what the hell, man? I remember you being better than that, Jose. Come on. Oh, ACL damage for Jose Campania. I've already got too much knee injury vibe on my team, so. Ravel Morrison. MLS legend. Uh, dude, Theo Walcott's here. Can lure him back. Abubakar Conte. Dang it. Um, uh, do, do. Medi Carcela Gonzalez. Christian Luyendama. Luyendama. Dude's got 17 to 20 strength. So if I ever need somebody to bench press somebody. <gasps> the Icelandic keeper, Hannes Thor Haldorsson. I love this dude. He's definitely not great anymore, but oh, that's the Icelandic keeper that was on the team that went to the World Cup and then beat England at the Euros. That's that guy. Vinton Evans. Actually, I actually have no idea who this guy is. Enter Miami 2, Portmore United in, uh, in Jamaica. It's about to have the trial of a, li uh, of a lifetime now. Creator of fear, thank you for the tier one. Thank you for supporting the stream. Enjoy the bacon. Enjoy the emotes. Make sure you get in the subsection of the Discord. Enjoy your lack of ads. Started a Besiktas second season champion two times. Jump a dying trick Frankfurt to save them from going down. Any recommendations for a third season? Nah, man, it's a good jump. And uh, Frankfurt, you can sign basically anybody to help your team, so bring the best players over. Signs Fatty Hall Seth Nippon. I don't think that he's good enough to help me right now. He's definitely not. This is a good shout. Maybe Alexander Pato is good enough to help us. I just have like that flash of talent that we need. Iago Falke. Steven Davis. Marco Benassi. Why'd it change, boss? Uh, 
Ah, he's 36 years old? I see. I see. All right, let me try Striker. Anything. Uh, not expired, so any. Um, oh, Messi! Right. Uh, transfer interest. I'm going to assume Messi is no longer there, which is an absolute crying shame. I like Albert Goodmanson. I know him. I like him. He gives me the wing and striker combination that I desperately need on my team as well. Speaking of Iceland. Castle Bravo, thank you for the 19 months, dude. The Messi and CR7. Genius, obviously. Harold, thank you for the 41 months. Yo! Boy, I love Buonani. No shot I'm getting my hands on, Hendrik. What kind of money do you think I have? We're a poverty club right now. All right, we'll, we'll polish up our knowledge on Goodmanson. Um, Umar Sadiq could be another good shout. She's just, you know, athletic forward. Sart? Oh, my God. No, he's not quite good enough, but that would have been an incredible shout to just be rocking up with Sarter Asmoon. Oh, I love Sarter Asmoon. Just international legend. Matteo Brunori. Yeah, you're bad. Can confirm. Trash. Saru Garasi? What does he look like in FM? Pretty good. That's a good shout. FM was on. They, they, they were on it, you know. I mean, probably got an attribute upgrade in the update. <laughs> if I had a dollar for every time I, I signed Gab, Gabby Barbosa. But you know what? He's always a good shout. You're like, I need quality in the front three. Like, not an amazing player, but $20 million worth of quality. Gabby goal is always the guy. Manchester United resurgence for Gabby goal. We will be there. All right, but in the meantime, uh, I think the most obvious pickup is Jonathan Ta. That gives us more flexibility with Harry Maguire. Um, let's go Dynamics. Maguire is considered highly influential, but Rashford, Fernandez, Varane are the top three. Okay. We didn't drum up any interest in Varane, but I would love... If they were going to show up with a bucket of money, I'd take it. Uh, Harry Maguire, I love me some slabhead, but can I transfer list him? Would he be upset then? Maybe difficult to find a suitable club because of his salary demands. Wow. Don't see that being a problem. Oh, the striker, Bruno Petkovic. I think I've signed him in one of these positions before. He's not a bad, uh, he's my best target striker. True. What am I doing? I am going to transfer list Harry Maguire. Please don't be mad. God, you had said it didn't say the, th the thing, man. It did. It didn't, uh, it didn't say the thing, you know, it said the other thing. It said the thing. You guys know what I'm saying. Y you know. Oh, yeah, it's not going to work, is it? Uh, hi, Harry. Um, I'm concerned you're trying to force me out of the club. Y you're bad. Um, he's not terrible, but you're... Casper, thank you for the prime. Appreciate you supporting the stream, dude. How do I tell him this? Shepi Keel, thank you for thank you for the three months. He's not that bad. No, he's not that bad. It's just, you know, the amount of money that somebody would be willing to pay for him and the amount of wage he's being paid. I could get a player three times the player Harry Maguire is. 
The $32 million would be way more useful. And the freeing up of the wage, which I believe is like $13 million a year, which we could then shift. It's basically like $40, $45 million worth of transfer budget tied up in McGuire. Now, I don't think we'd get $32 million. I think that we would get probably like 20 20 something hopefully. Tottenham's interested. Um, uh, you're not part of my plans here. There are too many options. Great atmosphere in the locker room. I'm testing the water to see if there's any interest. I'm not trying to force you out. Uh, the club's finances have to be my priority. I mean, I could do that. There's like multiple options. Um, No, I'm thinking Gonzalo Inacio or Usman Diamande. Diamond, uh, Antonio Silva's right-footed. Diamande gives us a really good left-footed ball player. Inacio is just a worse version of Usman Diamande, usually. But there's a, there, there are players out there that for the money that we would get from moving Harry Maguire, we could make this team a lot better. I'm testing the waters. Surely we can work something out. Uh, do we just go for this? Am I just going to launch myself into a Harry Maguire sale? He's not bad enough for me to want to do that. He's not bad enough for me to want to do that. Dude, you're off the transfer list now. Why is he upset about being on the transfer list when he's off the transfer list? Don't you dare tell me Alexander Pato is not a great player because you tried to. I don't believe you. Not for a second. It says he's unhappy to be on the transfer list, but he's not on the transfer list. I think it's broken. Hey, I already got my offer accepted for Nicolas Romero. Leave me alone. I'm getting good center backs in. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, Luke Shaw, the interest is Tottenham. Why is Tottenham sniffing around my team so much? Hey, Jaden, can I bring you back yet? No? All right, man. Sick. Just want you to come back and train with the team, Jaden. Not super crazy. Oh, yeah, I have Johnny Evans. Why? I don't want Johnny Evans on my team. Dang it. Oh, the door is open for Afghanistan. Oh, boy. A goal for Qatar to make it 1-1, which means if Afghanistan or Kuwait score... Wait. Do they have the results between teams? Is that the tiebreaker? Oh my god, they do, don't they? I gotta make sure. I gotta make sure. We gotta... Wikipedia's gotta tell us what the tiebreaker is. Wow, that took forever.
So the tiebreakers are points, goal differential, and all group. Oh, so this is wrong then. It's goal difference, goals scored, then head to head. So this is wrong. Because goal difference, India's okay. Afghanistan needs to win. Afghanistan and Kuwait are nil nil. But if either Afghanistan or Kuwait score, Kuwait would be on seven points, they're ahead of India. And then obviously Afghanistan would be on eight. So it's all on a knife edge to get to the next round of World Cup qualifying. It is either India, Afghanistan, or Kuwait that's going to the next round of qualifying. If either Kuwait or Afghanistan score, they're going. If India scores, they are safe. Lebanon's already out. Oman. I think Kyrgyzstan's through too. Yeah. Uh, unless Kyrgyzstan loses by like five goals, which they're not going to do. Shout out Uzbekistan for hanging. UAE and Bahrain, they're the two teams that are already through, so that match doesn't really matter. It's like an international friendly, which is fun. Yeah, so India's in second place, but if either Kuwait or Afghanistan score in the next 18 minutes, they are going to the next round of World Cup qualifying. Oh, the drama. The drama! It's unbelievable! North Korea advanced. Yes, they did. They finished ahead of Syria, which is actually very impressive. Syria is a solid team. Oh, Creed. Oh. All right, I want to want to start making some transfers. So we've got one guy coming in, Nicolas Romero, just an absolutely amazing deal to get him for a million dollars up front. Just over the moon about that. Um, we do have a transfer budget of thirty million. Wage budget a little limited. On the face there. Let's see who we're scouting. Where's Diamande? I love Diamande. Did we did not... I, no shot. I didn't get that report. Usman Diamande. Oh my god, I love him so much. I love him so much. Why did I not get that report? Yeah, but there's no way we get him. Let me say like 10 million up front, 12 monthly installments to pay out like 30 million. Basically paying 10 million for him for the next four years. That would technically work. This would be a $75 million transfer. And then we'll do like an after 50 league appearances with five. That's 15 million up front, uh, 40 million over the next three years, and an extra 5 million. Uh, total deal is 60 million, paid out over four years for 19 year old center back Usman Diamande. The upfront price of what we're paying is the same thing we got for Victor Lindelof's sale. All right, we will, um, we will, we will take that. Where'd it go? Mick Dental, thank you for the 41 months, dude. Yeah, let's do that. Um, uh, wage demands? Oh, his playing time demand looks like a bigger problem than his wage demands. Win a domestic cup by 25, 26? That's fine. You want to be a star player. You want to come to Manchester United and be a star player. 
Anybody see a problem with that? He goes to AFCON. No, wait, he's, oh, he's a Vorian. God. He goes to AFCON. Basically just misses January. No, I want to see what he wants. I want to see what he wants. His salary demands are fine. It's amazing. He's asking for... This is like a fourth of... Harry Maguire. It's less than a third of Harry Maguire's salary. Full wage impacts 4.79 million on that deal. That's full wage impact of five million a year. It's really it's just the playing time. He doesn't want any money at all. That's an unbelievable like contract. We can go look at Anasio. And I love Jonathan Ta too, but I just want to see what we might be able to spin for Anasio. It's both of them. Uh No, he'll get called up. He's like the best center back for them already. India just blew a 100% chance to score. They just bricked a really good chance. Sounds like they bricked a really good chance if multiple people say that. Have I been following the NHL finals? Yes, but who won last night? I did not check this morning. I was already asleep when that, uh, that happened. Oh, I got to tip my Uber Eats guy. I always remember to tip, chat. Those guys don't, uh, it's kind of the only way they get money. Do, 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 do. All right, brother. There's your 20%. Thank you for the help in acquiring my sandwich. All right. All right, I was looking up the score. Yesterday, Florida won. Yeah, I was kind of... I, I want both teams to lose because... I like Tampa being the only team from Florida that has a Stanley Cup, but the Panthers probably deserve it. We beat them up for a long time, and they've, they've powered through it, and they're a very tough team. Dreisaitl hit a uh, dirty elbow. As a Sporting CP supporter, uh, Inacio smokes Diamande every day. Yeah, well, we're talking about FM, though. I mean, they're clearly both good. No, what was that? That's funny, dude. People in the U.S. get tips for opening a door. Sometimes. Yeah. Correct. It's because, it, like, if you wait tables, you get paid, like, $2 an hour, so your income is the tips. Not saying it made sense, but don't, like, if you come to the U.S., please tip. Like if you if you do come to the U.S., even if you don't understand it, please tip, because the people it, like <sighs> it should be Ta. All right, well, let's see what we might be able to do with Jonathan Ta then. What if I reached it in installments? What if I paid $10 million up front and then reached it in installments? Then we'll, we'll negotiate this one. All right, after league appearances, 50 games, I'll pay you $5 million. I'll do three 12-monthly installments at $20 million. They're going to be like, what does this offer? 
I will give you a 200 acre plot in Kyrgyzstan that has been in my family for seven generations. Uh, after we win the Premier League, I will pay out two and a half million dollars or the $64 million release clause, or I pay 50, 15 million up front, and then I pay 30 million here, and we have a reasonable negotiation. There we go. Now we're having a reasonable negotiation. What about 13 and 50? That'd be a $63 million deal. Actually, we'll do that, and then we'll do after league appearances, five million. So that's 50 million here. That'd be 63 million distributed over three different things for Gonzalo Inacio. 13, then 15, then 15, then 15. Qatar scored. And Kuwait scored. India's out. And it's Kuwait from the bottom of the group. Oh, India bottled it. Kuwait, from the bottom of the group, looks like it's going to get second and get through to the next round. Afghanistan is in the mud. India losing and gets yeeted down. Dude, that meant for a second. For a second, it was Afghanistan. Because if India loses and Afghanistan and Kuwait draw, Afghanistan goes because they're on six points. Which means for about 45 seconds, Afghanistan was in position to qualify for the next round and then Kuwait scored. So now Afghanistan needs a goal. And, Afghan and India needs a goal and they need Afghanistan to score. Or India needs two goals. India got robbed for both goals. That happens. What happened with Nigeria? They're almost out of the World Cup. Yes, Nigeria is completely mudded right now. They're in this group. Now, Nigeria is getting lucky that Rwanda is winning because that keeps Nigeria some like in touch a little bit. If Lesotho was winning, Nigeria would be five points from safety with six matches left, which is not a place that you want to be. But they're four points from qualifying. The problem is they're in fifth out of six teams. So... Not a good spot, you know? Yeah, Nigeria in the mud. South Africa pulling out the win on Zimbabwe right now, which it desperately needs to stay in the conversation. Yeah, Palestine made it through. Uh, Palestine did make it through. They're, they got blown out today, but they did, they did make it through. So it's all down to this. Can Afghanistan score? One goal from Afghanistan and they're through. India needs a goal and help from Afghanistan or two goals. Right now it is Kuwait. I'll pull it up just like to... Right now it is Kuwait that has snaked its way into second to get to the third round of qualifying, knocking out Afghanistan and India. I'm someone that's able to walk into good but not top tier European teams and win titles with them. But when I try to play in the lower leagues, I completely fumble. What's the biggest difference I have to consider? Other than financials, I don't think that's my issue. I think that you might be focusing on trying to build through wonder kids at lower levels. When you're at lower levels, the only thing that matters is what you're able to get out of. Dude, Inacia wants the same thing. That's crazy. Really? You think the you think the uh, yearly salary is just easier to manage? That's interesting. Uh, so Inacio and Diamande are like a straight choice, or we go Jonathan Toff for the twenty one million up front. But that's our one of those guys is going to be part of our defense. Now I would love to make another sale before we have to make any of these decisions. Everton's interested in any loan now? No, please, 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 somebody take Christian Eriksen, please. 
I'm begging you, somebody take Christian Erickson. God. Somebody. I really wish Amon Diallo was not injured for six months. I actually quite like Amon Diallo. Start a build a nation in Wales, brother. That's a long journey. Good luck, Jesse. Kyrgyzstan's drawing him on and booting Malaysia. Now, I mean, Kyrgyzstan has to lose by a billion to get knocked out, right? Yeah, Kyrgyzstan has to lose by like six goals to get eliminated. Kyrgyzstan is also better than Malaysia. Um, Kyrgyzstan's had a really solid team for a little while now. Maddie, thank you for converting to a tier one. Oh, the Rays fan. Go Rays, dude. Kaisera, thank you for the three months of the Prime. Thanks for supporting the stream. Can you get a Bayern? You're better than company. We need all the help you can get. <laughs> Julian said the same thing. That's amazing. No, I, uh, Vincent Company is a better coach than me. But I, I think that if I was put in charge of Bayern, I might be able to figure something out. Oh, I can get an offer tomorrow afternoon. Loan type. Why can I not get a transfer where somebody just vacuums up his wage, dude? Why? Do, 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 do. Uh, this would be a huge transfer if we could stick Varon for like 50 million. The issue isn't the amount of money we'd get for the transfers, it's the wage, you know? And once we get rid of these wages, then that really opens everything up. Would he be interested in a move? No, Mason Mount's like, I'm a lifer. I'm going nowhere. Hell yeah. Can I recall him and then sell him? Can I capitalize on Mason Greenwood's financial value? Can I take advantage of Mason Greenwood against his will? Is that an op is that an option? Given the timeline where Allen fulfills his potential and joins United. Did I see Guitar's goals? No, I didn't. But we should... It, it, it sounds like they were terrible, so we should watch them. That's not how you spell Reddit. Oh, will you stop trying to find me, Google. I'm not going to cave. I would assume they would be in our soccer. They usually do a good job of having goals. Immense amount of... Qatar given an illegal goal by the referee. All right, here's the play. Bruh. That ball's so far out. Are you kidding me? There's no question in my mind that every part of that ball is out. Like, I know we, we have, like, a Japan at the World Cup situation. Oh, I'd be so mad. See, the thing is, when you look at it from this angle, it kind of looks like it might have stayed in. But if you look at it from this angle, I mean, you just use, like, your logical, dedu like, deduction skills, you know? Right here, that ball is so out. Like, you know where the line is. You know what I mean? Like, just look at the post. I'm sorry, that ball's out. Like, I understand the idea of angles and stuff, but that ball's out. Like, just, it just has to be out. It's so far behind the post. 
devil's advocate, you can't clearly tell it's out. Like, all I'm saying is, if people actually believe in corruption in sport, it's not obvious things. It's things like that. Where anytime you end up with a decision like that, it's just going to go your way. That's what corruption in sport actually looks like. You know what I mean? I'm not, like, obviously I have zero proof that Qatar has done anything to do that. But, like, corruption in sport isn't the idea that the ref is going to guarantee you win the game. The way that people do it cleverly and the way that it exists for a long time is the sort of thing that, like, Juventus used to do in Italy, where it's like, hey, if it's close, it goes our way. You know what I mean? The fine margin calls where you can devil advocate your way into being like, look, according to the rules, like, we can't totally tell that it's out. The goalkeeper's body is blocking it. Uh, then we're just going to go ahead and give the goal, you know? Uh, eight minutes of added time for Kuwait and Afghanistan. Oh, baby. If Afghanistan scores a last second goal to get to the next round, that'd be one of the that'd be one of the hypest international things of the last. Afghanistan's national team has accomplished literally nothing for decades. Those people need something to cheer about. Those people need something to cheer about. I mean, I'd feel bad for Kuwait and India's national teams, but it'd be really cool for the for the people that for a moment could forget about how awful it's been to live in Afghanistan for the last 50 years. Do, 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 do. Yeah, well, here's the thing. Here's the difference between Japan and Qatar. I'm assuming Asia does not have the line technology. Japan, we did. Japan at the World Cup, we had the line technology. So the Japan thing is a completely different question because we can literally see that it's in. There's no debate about whether the ball was in for Japan or not. We were able to actually see it with the line technology. So it's a completely different situation than the situation with Qatar we're just talking about there. You know what I mean? Turtle Eddie, thank you for the three months of the prime, dude. Okay, top bid rejected. Yes. Ah, uh, yes, my recruitment recommendations. I see. Other recommended players, Schlotterbeck, Alan Velasco. Oh, Rafinha, of course. Victor Hugo, he's not good enough yet, right? No. No, he's not. And Andre, Fluminense midfielder. So you could just sign a Brazilian team and honestly probably be able to hang in the Prem. Oof. Qatar has beaten India 2-1 full-time. Yeah, but I think the counter-argument to the counter-argument is that Qatar gained nothing from this game. Qatar was already through. And so, yeah, I mean, Qatar gained nothing from this game. Which makes it even more insulting that they got the decisions, you know. Uh, For those people that are saying Diamande, what does it for you in the Diamande direction?
Age doesn't matter. It's one year, dude. It's one year. It's one year. We're playing one season, so it's all about who's going to deliver this season. Yeah, we don't care about resale value. It's all about the results we can get this season. I think some is being overlooked. I haven't really seen um, anybody mention he's stronger. 18 strength is an elite amount of strength for, for moving somebody out of the way. And Jonathan Todd is a pit bull, dude. Yeah, it doesn't matter. The height doesn't matter, but the two jumping reach, that matters. Jonathan Ty, obviously a huge dude, but his mentality is fantastic. The positioning advantage is significant. The aggression and bravery advantage is really significant. The concentration advantage is present. All right, I think I think I'm gonna I think I'm ready I'm gonna cook a deal for Jonathan Ta. All right, I am going to cancel the offer for Gonzalo Inacio. We are going to keep the offer going for Diamande if we find a good sale. Uh, like, let's say we are able to move Rafael Veron or something. We do have Arsenal apparently interested, which would be huge. Uh, if we do find a good move for Veron, then to be able to add somebody that can play that defensive midfield position like Diamande would be really, really fun. But I'm going to cancel the deal for Inacio. We got to be decisive here. The season's closing in fast, you know. Uh, loan status, unavailable for loan. We are looking for a transfer. We are looking for a transfer. Uh, good news. I'm bringing uh, to table offers worth 7.6 to 7.8 million. Okay, uh, proceed. Let me see if we get any other offers. They will, they're looking at a loan to buy moves, which I don't want to do. I don't want to do any loan to buy nonsense, but uh, Ta offer. Okay, he'd be interested in regular starter, ball playing defender. I would like to not do that if that's possible. I would start him and Varane as my center back pairing right now, the way the team sets up. Oh, we'll be able to get the 50. 4.57 million. Dude's getting paid a third of what Harry Maguire's making to come in and start over Harry Maguire. God, the contracts on this team are so dumb. They are so dumb. Facing pressure to finalize the uh, Jonathan Ta deal. Are we? I mean, we're the first one in, so we are, we are the first one in. I'm going to cook up a new tactic. I don't really have my team to cook up a new tactic, though, if I'm being honest. I just need to cook up, like, basic tactics. We just need to be training them. Okay, I'll read that in a second. You're, thank you for the 13 months. World's smallest violin. Thank you for the 24 lifeguards. Save the drowning hippie. He was too far out, man. <laughs> that was good. That was a good dad joke right there. It's a good one. B is my final answer. Cure, thank you so much for the prime. Thank you for supporting the stream, dude. Kuwait is advanced. It's over. After all that, it's honestly probably the best team out of the three. Kuwait that does go through in second place with Qatar. Afghanistan finishes third. Afghanistan and India are eliminated from the World Cup. 
India will continue its record of having not made it to the World Cup with a very disappointing draw against Kuwait and loss to Qatar to finish out their qualifying. <sighs> and it's over. It is all over. It's over. Cape Verde's beating Libya. Well, Libya was top of the group, weren't they? Or no, they were until Cameroon won. But here comes Cabo Verde. Comoros is winning, by the way. So Comoros is top of the group. And right now, if it ended right now, Comoros would be going to the World Cup. Do you know how insane that is? This is an automatic World Cup qualification spot. And Comoros is sitting pretty in it after four matches with the win over Chad. Atta boy, Comoros. Atta boy. Rwanda is also sitting in one of those spots after four matches. But South Africa's trying to spice it up by beating Zimbabwe by a couple of goals. Lesotho and their unbelievable start to qualifying is coming to an end with a loss to Rwanda, which sucks. I actually have no idea where Tanzania is in this. Second, apparently. Zambia won an AFCON like a decade ago, and they've done absolutely nothing else. But they made a final. I think they might have made the final. I'm bleeding. Yeah, I saw the goal that was allowed by Qatar. If I was India, I'd be really, really frustrated. I don't know if I want to watch uh, Vietnam tonight. Dude, it's tough watching your team when you're already out. I'm not gonna. I'm not doubting that. I saw he's. That's just a tough spot to be in. Why can I not sell you, Harry? Harry, Harry. You think I could sell Lisandro Martinez for like a lot of money? He wouldn't want to leave, would he? Nobody wants to leave. Not even wants to leave. Nobody wants to entertain the possibility that going to play somewhere else could be a decent idea. McTominay's not getting paid that much. You can't sell Leecha. Hey, look, everybody is on the potential chopping block, okay? I like Garnachos. I like Menu. What's the Garnacho photo? I've got no idea what you're talking about, dude. Do you remember when Shola Short Tire was supposed to be decent? Well, yeah, yeah, I will. Hey, 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 come on now. There you go. That's what I'm telling you. You got to give me some actual money, dude. What are you doing, Crystal Palace? Erickson. Optional future fee with installments. Optional future fee with installments. Option Anybody got money now? Or has everybody got money later? All right. I thought everybody had money later. Let's not do that. All right. No, I'm not playing any extra friendlies. I have the friendlies I want to play. They're all on my damn calendar, and I'm all, my, my training's all set up and everything. Uh, oh, sick. They brought, in, they, they brought Inzo up on my scouting report. That's so useful. Windle? Mr. Wendell's a bum. That's not what I'm seeing, dude. This guy's got 14s and everything. I'll freaking take that in the United midfield right now. Not a bad defender. This guy's box to box through and through, man. Very intelligent guy. He moves well, not short. Controls the ball pretty well. He can find a good pass. He's got a high technical floor. Likes to have a pop from distance. Plays one twos and picks the ball up to advance it through the center.
Incredible adaptability, unsurprising. He's a Brazilian playing in Russia. Can't these guys leave? In real life, these guys can leave for free. I'm pretty sure they canceled all the contracts of guys in Russia. But I don't think that works in... Yeah. Do I typically care about a player's side preference? Not usually, but, you know, if I'm being really... Somebody said Dorsch is similar, so I'm going to add that guy to the other list. I don't know. I like Wendell more, I think. We'll see. I'm going to hang a scout on Dorsch, but... Sorry, I think my scouting during transfer window, ragging him to player's inbox... So Bergvine, Alan Velasco, and he's a pretty good player. Rafinha, he's too expensive. There's Victor Hugo, okay, Nico Schlotterbeck, too much money right now for old Nico. Yeah, I don't really, I'm not really into the goalkeeping thing right now, but I appreciate it. Damn, he's got 18 strength. Claudinho? Can I just raid Zenit? It seems like the morally correct thing to do here. Claudinho, look at this. This guy's got a burst as well. Just steal the Brazilians from the Russian League. Build out a, a very solid Manchester United team. Dans, thank you for tier thank you for the tier one. Cheers. Appreciate you supporting the stream. Enjoy your lack of ads. Karud, thank you so much for the three months as well. Loses to the wind. Hey, he's only 130 pounds, right? He's a tiny dude. And by that, I mean he's very cheap. <laughs> Carlos Gomez of Real Salt Lake. And then there's Wendell. Okay, we've got season starting in 11 days. No offers for Veron or Erickson. Yeah, I got that. But yeah, I'm just going to keep offering him out, you know? I'm just, um... Why are they all loan offers, man? All I want is a transfer offer. All I want is a transfer offer for Erickson, dude. Is it that him and Varane would be a dream? No! No, 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 no. Don't you dare, you swine. Oh, you, you. What is your leadership? 12. Wow, football manager doesn't have a high opinion of your leadership. Nah, I don't know if I want that on him. The Dons, thank you for the two months, dude. Kyrgyzstan is officially through. No, Mika Faye's not good enough to start in the Premier League year one. I love Mika Fey, but he's not there yet. He needs to play at a higher standard. Where is he? He's playing at Port Vale. Where are they? In the Isthmian Conference League? Isthmian. Con Isthmian. 
Isthmian, Isthmian Conference League. Harry Maguire appears unwilling to renew his contract with us. Cry me a river, dude. <laughs> What if I just put him on the transfer list and then untransfer list him? Would he be okay then? I don't know. Is he just going to get mad again? I have no idea. Anthony doesn't speak English. Alte Bayendir doesn't speak any English. Going to be some freaking full classes for our English language thing. Oh, we are paying for a work plan app, uh, permit application for Diamande. Fair enough. That's going to give us more time to kind of make this decision. Um, I just... Bergvine, I like Bergvine. I don't love him. I don't, I don't love him. Go watch the Iraq game. Well, no, I mean, Iraq's playing... There's, no, there's nothing on the line. It's Iraq versus Vietnam and... Vietnam's already out, and if I remember right, Iraq's already through. So Iraq's got a decent national team. Vietnam, on the other hand, right home to Macwell, they're mudded. They are absolutely mudded. Have I bottled the challenge yet? I don't think so. We're on, you know, we're off to, we're, we're, we're moving in a decent direction. Oh, I can't even get the 19-year-old dude from Argentina to say yes. I've signed zero people so far. All right, I'm kind of waiting for old Rasmus Hoyland to make his comeback. Anthony Martial's out. How has all of this happened before delay? I get two delays. I'm going to delay Diamande the first time. Ta and the other guy make a dang decision, all right? Nicholas Romero, you got to make a call, brother. You, got, you, you have to make a decision. They're required to make monthly payments of $16.5 million for four previously arranged... Who is running this club? Is it one of those monkeys with the symbols? Is that who's running this club? They're a billion dollars in debt. <sighs> Whatever. I'm here for a year. Sixteen and a half million dollars every month. Transfer blocked. Well, I don't know. Do we consider the idea that we might want to remove one of those sports scientists? Whatever. Uh, Varane, nobody wants to accommodate Varane's salary demands. I don't want to accommodate Varane's salary demands. That's kind of the point. All right, what about seven and a half million? That would free me up to make one more signing, hopefully, ideally. I'll just add to our debt. That's my goal. Hey, Nicholas Romero, August 5th, we will be able to say yes to the dress with Nicholas Romero. Isn't that just the loveliest thing you've ever heard? <sighs> At least you might get a takeover. Yeah, it would have to be immediate for us to get like a positive effect from that. All right, Shola Shortire. Congrats on your $450,000 move to Crystal Palace. They will also not play you. Or at least you can pretend that, you know, they saw something in you, and that's why they're bringing you in, right? They saw something. Oh, Benjamin Kramashi coming up on my Wonder Kid scouting report. God, he sucks in FM. Wow, he sucks in FM. All right, in Asia, we already said no, so... Sorry. Uh, I like how Harry Maguire is the only guy that's not getting, like, a proper workout during the preseason. Everybody else... Everybody else has gotten plenty of match time except for Harry Maguire. So, uh, no offers for Erickson? My God, man. How are there no offers for you? Oh, hello. I forget who, I forget who did this song. Usman Diamande, scouting report is finished. He is... I really want Jonathan Ta. I really want Jonathan Ta, dude. 
Who am I trying to get rid of? Uh, Erickson. Varon would be nice. McGuire, but he doesn't want to leave. Yeah, we, we, we can go out and get, like, way better um, center backs. The, the center back market's great. If I could sell McGuire, I'd bring in Ta and Diamande, and we'd have an amazing new center back core. Rashelier, I don't think he's quite good enough. I like him, though. Breaking Benjamin. Oh, my God. It is Breaking Benjamin. How close am I to being done with the squad? Not at all. Not at all. I'll tell you what we can do, though. We can start trying to move. We need wingers and strikers. Zielinski just moved, so I'm going to remove him from my short list. We know we like Taiwo Awanii. He plays really well into the, the intent that we want to have this season. So if I can get him for less than $10 million up front, then we're going to do that. Hey, uh, you guys down for some debt? That would be 32 million. It's not necessarily a bad deal. Oh, I will want to eat. More debt, Prage. Squad player, huge, massive, uh, absolutely massive. Uh, this is going to save me from having to play Anthony Martial. I didn't know you, sp <laughs> I didn't know you spoke Danish. Chill, bro, chill. Come on, chill. Chill out. What was that? Chill. All right. How do these guys end up? Uh, how do they end up paying so much money for all of these players when Taiwo Amani is taking like, oh, uh, Nicholas Romero, one point one million straight up, easy transfer, get in, doesn't even need registration, work permit acquired. I like this kid. He's a decent center back that serves very well as a fourth center back over the course of a season. Oh, he's not even in the first. God, he's a first team player. Shh, calm down. Nicholas Romero is a first team player. All right. He's not one of the better ones. He's on the senior team. I I don't control individual training for player, you know, for for, for senior team members. I guess not because I haven't done any of it. Well, that's my fault. So. Do 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 do. do. We got to set all this stuff up real quick. Do 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 Marcus Sassford, more like. Ha! <laughs> right. I'll tie by in deer, dude. I have no idea what uh what position I wanted to work on, you know. Andre Onana, sweeper keeper on attack, no quit. Sigma grind set. Sofian Amrabat. Give me the box to box. Give me the box to box, Kobe Minu. Johnny. Can't believe I didn't do this earlier. Oversight on my part. Third string goalkeeper, Tom Heaton. Dee -dee 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 All right, inverted winger, not inside forward. Lukathan Shawthan. Ron, you're going ball player. Harry! Harry! Rasmus Hoyland. Fans forward. Who else is going to come back at some point in the next a million years? That'd be Anthony Martial. Magstar, thank you for the 30 months, dude. Thank you for supporting this stream. All right, we made one signing before our first match of the season. <laughs> 
Damn. Rooney Bargy for a winger. Is he good enough yet? No, he's not good enough yet. Certainly not quick enough. We'll do a scout just to be sure he's not like at the top of all of his ranges, but he doesn't look good enough yet. Do, 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 do. Dude, Harry Maguire and Johnny Evans are still rocking the zero match sharpness. We love to see that. Who am I unveiling? Oh, Romero. This should be short. I'm pleased. I think he contributed quite early on. He's been thoroughly scouted. He's an important new uh, player. I have no concerns. He'll learn English. Uh, him and Varane can work together. He'll bring a fresh perspective. He can help take us forward. I expect he'll settle just fine. All right. We hopefully have a bigger signing of Jonathan Ta here in a second. Yes. Yes, dude. Yes. That is huge. That is huge. That is huge. That is huge. That is huge, lads. It's a massive move. Taz signing with me instead of PSG. That's what that means. That's what that work permit thing means. Oh, man. This Christian Eriksen thing seems to drive me crazy. So I'm, I'm just going to keep hammering it. There's going to be somebody out there. I want to make it Marcus Rashford, but I don't think Rashford's very good at this whole thing. I think Casemiro might be a good guy. Hey, uh, Varan, can I talk to you about losing the captaincy? Are there better options than the team? I think you're right. I won't pretend I'm not disappointed. we got some very strong characters in the locker room now. You're darn right. Uh, I would like for Casemiro to be the vice captain. We're going to keep the rat the captain, but Casemiro... The 17 leadership, 17 teamwork. He's a winner. He's got the winning DNA in there. As long as we don't make him move. As long as he doesn't have to run, I think he's the guy. Hopefully everybody believes that. As my assistant coach thinks it should be Rashford, but he only has 12 leadership. He's not going to galvanize the men. He's not going to rally the troops. Ah, uh, Guido, how you doing? Two to four months. All right. I'll keep an eye on you. Giovanni De Lorenzo. It's a lot of money. Something real weird would have to happen for you to be available on the cheap, wouldn't it? Fakayo Tamori. 76 million was the availability. That's pretty insane, isn't it? DePaul's 57 million. <laughs> yeah. All right. Dude, dude. I'm going after Taiwo Awani. Leave me alone. I like Taiwo. He's got the he's got the physical tools, you know what I'm saying? Bro, he's not. He's not even interested in signing for me, which is hilarious. He's got the same release clause as Jonathan Ta. Didn't he sign a new deal? Maybe. It is possible. Savio from Girona. He's part of the city group. They wouldn't, they wouldn't give him to me if their life depended on it. But I don't know if FM's calculating that. Yeah, I must be lonely. Oh, bow, bow. Maxence Lacroix. Still good. A little more expensive than all the other guys we're looking at up front, but still good. Adam Mola Lookman. Uh, no way. 31 million? That's better than I would have thought. Baron Torres. 
Feral Torres. Keep an eye on him. The Taiwan and E combined with Martial and Hoyland should give me enough striker firepower to be able to make something happen this year. If I considered player exchanges. Nobody wants my players to begin with. I don't think that's going to be a, a particularly profitable way to go about things, but... All right, we did sign Taiwo Awani, which is going to give me uh, an actual striker to go into the opening day of the season, which isn't bad because <laughs> I don't have Martial or Hoyland right now at the start of the year. What do you guys think of this? If you had to rate my, my transfer move here to get Taiwo Awani, Pressing forward all day and twice on Sunday. One. Love that. Thank you. All right, this guy's better than Evan Ferguson for this year. Awani is better than Evan Ferguson for this year. All right, we're taking it. We got ourselves another striker. Where's Taiwo? There he is. We got plenty of room in our registrations. It's not really a concern. Hey, you. Why can't he be recalled? What? Oh. See if we can make it a, an official transfer. Maybe we can get some money out of it. I'm assuming he can't be recalled either. I'll be open to speaking to other clubs. Could I get $35 million for Greenwood? I'll try and turn some of these guys into sales. He can't be recalled either? Okay, well, he's on loan to Eintracht Frankfurt. Do they have $10 million to throw around? That'd be really appreciative. And a Hannibal Mejbri. Is on loan to Sevilla. I would happily sell him for thirty million. I'd be stunned if you gave me the thirty million. Honestly, Brandon Williams can be recalled, so we'll leave that option open. Uh, Diamande, Ta, you better freaking get your butt back here, man. Ta, you better hurry it up, brother. You better hurry it up. You better scoot your boot back here. Uh, persuade to leave. I want to let you know, courtesy of exploring the option of selling you and see what the market might offer. We know there's some interest, so it might be, uh, it might be time to see who's willing to make an offer. You're joking. You promised I wasn't going to be sold. Deal with it. I'm done talking with you. Cool. Yeah, good deal, man. Tell me you're unhappy. All right, awesome. Because I really want Diamande and Ta, and I, I'm really thinking that, you know, I'm just saying. I've discussed the issue with McGuire, so, you know, maybe it's time. Alrighty, Pato. Gervinho. Little old. He's aged like fine wine, though. Anwar El Ghazi. Oh, my God. Give me a 15 somewhere. Uh, he's Kerado, I expect to be bad. He is. Okay. We'll go ahead and terminate the loan. Um, we'll terminate Gervinho. The other two, maybe. I mean, we, uh, Pato is at least rocking the Holy Trinity with some creativity, but he doesn't have that, like, super high bit that we were hoping for. Yeah, both those guys are just below average players for us. Sforza really wants to leave Newell's Ode Boys, but they aren't giving him the transfer that he wants. Uh, it's not actually, Dunu. Uh, the Co Copa America is a hilariously unorganized tournament most of the time. Um, but it is a lot of fun. So Copa America... 
has had North American teams in it before. Copa America has had like Japan in it before, I'm pretty sure. Copa America, there's an issue in South America that you want to have a giant continental tournament, but there aren't a lot of teams in South America. And so the most logical thing is to combine with North America. The last one, um, the last one that had North American teams in it was Copa America Centenario, which was 2016. Yeah, but they um they basically each new each tournament is just like a new vibe. You know what I mean? Each new tournament is just a new vibe. I think Haiti was in Copa America in 2016. Right? And then they go to CONCACAF and they're like, just qualify in and you're good. Yeah, but Copa America and the Gold Cup, honestly, um, just kind of invite teams to participate to round out the numbers. Machine Snipes, thank you for the prime. Hey, Kotla, thank you for the 30 months, dude. I appreciate it. The United States has actually beaten Brazil at the, um, at the Gold Cup before. Not that Brazil was taking the Gold Cup particularly seriously, but you know what I mean. I know Qatar was in the Gold Cup. The U.S. played Qatar in the Gold Cup. It was actually a really good game. Yes! We got Jonathan Ta, baby. Let's go. Jonathan Ta's in the team. We have replaced Lindelof, and we have made three signings before the first day of the season. Bless. Ooh, do, do, do. The offers for Maguire. Look, I know you're upset, Harry. I, I know you're upset, but it is it is time. Looking to increase their homegrown quota? Well, I have amazing news. Harry Maguire is available for just $30 million, and he's all yours. Please! Please! I need a... Dortmund are not willing to make an offer for Sancho. Okay. None of you? O for 4? What have I offered Jaden Sancho to you for something really low, like 45 million? And I offered Greenwood to you for something really low, like 20 million. And I offered Donny Van de Beek, who I'm assuming I'm paying most of his wage. I am paying 6 million a year of his wage. I'll offer him to you for 5 million. In Hannibal Mejbri, I will offer him to you, I didn't expect you to take that, for $15 million. I'm about to make my debut as head coach against Luton Town. Well, we better win. <laughs> we better win this game. Or else it's going to get real embarrassing real fast. Stop. Halt. Immediately. Freeze. We're on. I would take 45 million. That would give me so much fluidity. Stand my ground. Wanna back down. All the freedom of our Lindelof sale has been uh, spoiled. Well, yeah. What do you mean? What do you mean nobody's interested? I want a transfer. I want a transfer. <laughs> Anyway, no, I can't, ex uh, can't request my board to improve youth facilities. I mean, if, I realize this might be a stupid question, but are you already at the top level? All right, let's assess. Um, not at the club. Goodbye. Unavailable. Goodbye. And that's our team. Okay. Jonathan Top, you and Varon. Varon, I'm assuming he's got a better left foot. Uh, then old Jonathan Toss, so you're going to step over to the left side. You are going to be a central defender on defend. You are going to be a ball-playing defender on defend, except apparently you are a better central defender on defend. So we're not taking any chances. We're just doing that. Shaw is going to be a wing-back on support. All right, that's not even the tactic I wanted to play. I want to play this way. 
Do 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 do. I want back. Yeah, baby. There ain't no easy way out. Hey, now. Back down. That's so pretty. That's such a pretty little tactic right there. There ain't no easy way out. Roll that ball out, Onana. Resist your urges. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Do you do? Press maniacally. It's our only hope. Do do do. I do do. I do do. All right, we've got Garnacho. Do I have no other strikers on my team? Oh, this sucks. Yeah, but Marcial's almost back, Copium. He'll be fine. He'll never be hurt again. Do 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 do. I really need to sell Maguire. Like, I actually really need to sell Harry Maguire. <laughs> we have uh, too many defenders, and we need... Especially now I can't recall Jaden Sancho. We have nobody. I feel okay with my midfield. It's not great. I'd love to move Ericsson and sign that guy from Russia. But this ain't great. Ross Barkley, Colton Morris will leave. Got to get to the wingbacks. All right, game one. Game one, let us win. Please, please, please let us win. Awani wants 18, you get 28. I don't have 18 available. You get two, Jonathan. That's a good center back in number right there. Or something, I don't know. Uh, relax and play your natural game. You don't really care this much, but, or that much, but I have faith in you. Let's go. Let's freaking go, baby. Let's get it. Zagor, thank you for the 15 months. Ta cost a $21 million release clause. Do, do, do. Ta actually costs no future debt. Because it was a release clause, there was no deal where we could reduce the upfront cost. So, there's that. Only time we have to do it during any save. All right, we're set. They're in the white. We're in the theater of dreams in the red. Can't wait for the waterfall. Come on, boys. This is a league-winning season right here. 38 matches. We win all 38. We're league champions. That's how it works. Come on, Taiwo Awani. You're up there for one reason and one reason only, to run around like a madman. You're playing for Manchester United, Taiwo Awani. Believe in something. Oh, let's go. No. No, cover it, cover it, cover it, cover it, cover it, cover it. Pitbulls, tenacity, growl at them. Howl. There we go. See, the growling worked. Kobe. Rashford. One more. Don't, don't resist your inner primal urge to do something stupid. Resist. Oh, here we go, Mainu. Dang it. Kobe. I would say, where's Casemiro? But it takes him three to five business days to get back on defense, so. Back. Okay, I don't think Anthony's got... Well, you know. Bruno. Rashford! Dang it. Mainu. Rashford. 
No. Yes. Antony. Uh, <laughs> error. Thank you for the prime. Uh, show me the big brain. I'm trying, CC. Hey, this is this is this is the big show here. It's tough. Oh, I love this song. Bruno. My new. Good ball. Rashford. My new. Rash Daddy! God, that shot is so bad. Marcus, lock in. That was some good passing from the boys. Bournemouth is beating Liverpool. It's... Dude, it's over. Oh. Backwards. Let's go. Varane. You see him? Thank you. Anthony. Bruno. Anthony. Sauce it up a little bit. Kobe. Oh, he's onside! Well, that's a lie. He looked on. Oh, that's a bad ball, but it nearly went in anyways because big Jonathan Ta is there. I like the way we're playing. We're playing in there. I mean, we're playing Luton, but we are in their half of the field doing the right things, getting good looks. Ta, pen. It's got to be a pen ref. Jonathan Ta's got 18 strength. Only way you move him is something illegal in 48 states in Canada. Uh, Bruno? Yeah. Let's go, Bruno. Fernandes. This is it. This is our moment. This is where we win the league right here with a penalty in the first game against Luton Town. This is it. Dude! <laughs> no, you're joking. 19 penalties, man. Oh. Boys, we're at home against Luton Town, all right? We are at home against Luton Town. Keep going, we'll be all right. Keep going, we'll be all right. I have faith in you. I have faith in you. Why are you my captain adjacent people? All right. Well, this has been an unpleasant turn. Let's up the mentality. Let's hit and encourage to start the second half. We literally just passed it straight to them. So that's cool. Love when we do that. All righty. Hey, Captain Watterson, thank you for gifting a sub to CC, dude. Shout out. Oh, cross. Cross it! You, oh, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. <laughs> the insults that were about to come out of my mouth, bro. The insults that were about to come out of my mouth to Rashford. <laughs> Bruno's there and we have the lead, thank goodness. Oh, just cross it. Oh, he's unlucky he didn't score that, honestly. Bruno Fernandes. The Portuguese rodent. All right, get a second one. I'll bring in Garnachos. Dang it, Casemiro, you're scaring me. One, yeah, that's pretty par for the course. All right, Nachos, where are you at? You're coming in on the left side. Taiwo Awanee's leaving, and we're going to bring in Marcus Rashford. Actually, I like what is going to be able to bring to the rest of this. Uh, why is everybody nervous? That's my question. Uh, Garnacho, you're going to come in. You're going to play winger on the right side and just be pacey and annoying. I hate the fact that Casemiro is nervous. Minu's playing an absolute stormer. Um, nobody, anybody else tired? Jonathan Taw's not, like, working with full match sharpness. 
Alessandro. I don't really have anybody else I want to bring in. Amrabat's having a stroke right now, so. Don't really trust my bench, believe it or not. I like Garnacho, though. He's going to be a super sub, I think, when everybody's healthy, as long as we like what we're getting out of our forwards. Mainu. Taiwo Awani. The new boy. Oh, Taiwo Awani. Awani. Surely not. Golf claps, golf claps, golf claps. It's the type of ability we're looking from a new guy. Oh, yes, Kobe, my new. <gasps> Rashford's in! And it's 2 0 to Manchester United, and it's an assist for the new boy, Taiwo Awani. Absolutely scintillating. Nice. Terrible goalkeeping. Never doubted it. Sancho can't come back. I freaking wish he could. Dude, I wish. Positions of Awani and Rashford are mixed. I know, but it did actually led to a goal there, so I don't hate it. We're going to leave it. <laughs> I, we, we just scored because Awani was on the left and Rashford was running through the middle. That's why we just scored that goal. Don't you dare. Don't you know you did not. Thank you. <laughs> if it ain't broke. Hey, Owen E looked really active in that channel, and Rashford's got that straight line pace. Owen E has it too, but. Ba -da 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 -da. This team's terrible at tracking back. That would, uh, you know, Casemiro is terrible at tracking back. Such is the way. Really like the way Minus played in this game. Don't think we need to add anybody to the team in that spot. Oh, that was such a loose pass. What a waste. All of those passes were so loose. Wow, terrible from Varane. Good save. That is a tricky... That was a very unlucky deflection. Nice. All right, Casemiro, you're off. Scott McTominay is coming in. I got Alessandro Martinez. For Varan. Sub. Mainu. Classy. Keep it keep it going. Keep it going. Juan Basaka. Yes. Garnachos. Aldhelm. Bring it back. Oh, that's really oh, hello. Opportunity knocking, perhaps. Big sauce up top. He you know. Prolific goal scorer, Scott McTominay. I love the arc that he's on with his prolific goal scoring. It's a very dominant performance, you know? 2-0 with a penalty that we did missed. All right, Lissandro. Nice pass, dude. Just worst possible spot there. Oh, on Bissaka. Garnachos. That almost went in. I don't know why. Well, you got to win. Uh, you got to win 38 games. You want to guarantee that you win the league. We have won the first one. It would seem. Mine new. Dang it.
Oh, it's got to be mine. That's the dude clearly can't trouble at all. Oh, for the love of all that's good and holy, dude. He's going to go on attack so he can just stretch the field with the ball. Guys! Oh, he's right there. Was that Ta? <laughs> oh, you gotta... How do you not even get to that ball, dude? Like, I'm, I'm results-oriented, you know? We're gonna sit in. We're gonna make sure we keep the ball. We're gonna make sure we win this game. I don't need to always win with style. Although we did a lot of good things today, we clearly dominated the game. We just shipped them a goal late to make it spicy. We don't need to mess around with this. Oh, uh, good win. Good win. Got it. You know, we want to win a game. We go out there, we win the game. I'm not going to complain. Our goal, especially before we get to deadline day, we're able to get the win before we get to deadline day. You know, I'm not, I'm not sad about that at all. I am sad about that. Hey, you want to find a new club? I know you literally hate me. I have no intention of leaving. Great. You seem like a barrel of laughs, man. My head over my head. Okay, good win, though. Look, we won a game. Cry me a river, we won a game. Anybody else would be okay with selling? I mean, I guess technically Johnny Evans. Where are you? <laughs> Are he's a principled man. He's also not a wizard, because he sucks. <laughs> No, he's not actually that. He's not actually that bad. It's just his wage. I, I, I need to separate the two. I want to get rid of him because I think we're paying him way more money than we would be able to pay somebody that's better than him. Like, I could move him and then bring in Usman Diamande and my team would feel so much better. English or Spanish? Uzbek. That's my choice. If I'm given a choice. You know, that's my choice. If you sell Evans, you need to resign. There's really no point to selling Evans. He's not getting paid a lot of money. He has no value. Like, I don't gain anything from moving Johnny Evans, which is why I don't really want to move Johnny Evans. I just, I have Nicholas Romero, who I feel very comfortable with as a backup guy. I'm just sitting on Harry Maguire, like. That's why Varane moving would be great. The Varane moving would be great. I would, have, I would get to stop bullying Harry Maguire. Ah, uh, Ta. We're talking about Ta. I hope he can make a big uh, contribution, you know? Gives us further depth. Um, not talking club finances. Not talking about center backs. The public, I want to hear a proper answer from you. I don't care. Does this deal have too many options at center back? I don't care. Are you confident he can justify his price tag? He's got the quality. It's $21 million, dude. It's not crazy. You see what Chelsea's spending? Man, leave me alone. We're going to bring the best out of both those players. Ta will go down in United history like Rude Van Nistelrooy. Obviously, that's why I signed him, to be Rude Van Nistelrooy. We know that he does well. It's my job to make sure we support that with what we do well as a team. Yeah. Always nice to have a familiar face around. Hopefully, somebody welcomes Jonathan to the team. Uh, under 21 sports scientist. Okay, I didn't have anything to do with that. Do I want to try and persuade him to leave? Hey, Arsenal. Love your cannons, first of all. Unspecified. What you got? You're rumored to be interested in the player? Uh, what, what, what you got for me? Oh, you lost to Chelsea. That's embarrassing. What are you doing? My name's Jonathan. Nice. 
I just signed to Jonathan. Where's Saudi at? I don't know, dude. Where you can't sell any of the guys we have on loan either. You know how annoying this is? I'm paying $13 million a year because some idiot agreed to this loan. Like... Sorry, I'm paying nine. I'm paying $9 million a year because of the playing monthly fee. $9 million this year for Jaden Sancho to play over there, and I cannot recall him. And that's just what I'm stuck in. I, there's no way, there seems to be no way for me to be able to sell him. I'll try 30, but I doubt it'll work. Greenwood. Look, brother, I would sell you for six pence and a barrel of wheat, but try and max the value out. Let some idiot say his name. All right, Ten Hog, sorry. I want, I want Sancho to be on the damn team, is what I want. But he, you know, apparently that's impossible, right? Charles de Quetalea. <laughs> nice. That's a different Raquel May. Spelled differently, too, I guess. But Thomas Lemur? No way. I'm so proud of you, dude. Uh, I'm going to transfer this, McGuire. Good luck. Hey, agent, do you want to work with me to help find a deal so that he can move and we can chill? There is interest, though, so watch this space. Hey, Tottenham, please, please drop $20 million for him. Please. Please. I... Uh... How does it feel being from the States? I love that question so much. The same as being from anywhere else, I guess. I don't know. I was born. I grew up in America. It's not really that different than growing up anywhere else, I think. Vast majority of places. Yeah, except every morning I wake up and I... You know, I just do a line of freedom. <laughs> I'm high on patriotism. <laughs> yeah, other than that, though. In Denmark, we don't have big cities. Dude, that's because nobody lives there. <laughs> There's like 5 million people in Denmark. That's like the size of my hometown in Florida. No, there's like 10 million, right? I'm usually pretty good with populations. No, I was right, 5.9. Yeah, Denmark's a country that has an outsized impact on the world for the number of people that are in it, which is awesome. It's really cool. It's like Australia is the same way. Australia participates in everything all of the time at a pretty decent level. There's only like 35 million people there. Zealand's not from New Zealand? Yeah, I know. I'm from Florida.
35 is a bit more than five. Yeah, but Denmark doesn't have a great cricket team or a really, really competent Olympics program where Australia, there's like an Olympic person for everything. You know what I mean? Florida for like just people. I mean, everybody knows the U.S. is huge, right? But Florida, what's it? 22? Hell yeah, brother! California is 39. And its population has gone down. It would stop going up. But California's population, I don't know what, like where that ranks in Europe, but it's pretty high. It's like more than twice the Netherlands. Am I cheering for Florida in the Stanley Cup? Hell no, I'm from Tampa. I'm a Lightning fan. I'm the other Florida team. No, it's just funny that we're having this conversation while I'm listening to the most aggressively country song possible. What is this, Luke Combs? You want another nice, uh, this is more like pop country. We'll, we'll go down this. The song, the song's a bop. Shabuzi's a bar song. Florida would be the eighth biggest European country. Hell yeah, brother. Anyways, <laughs> so, but what's it like to grow up in the U.S.? I don't know. It's very, I assume very different than what you probably think it's like. It's pretty, you know, I've, I've been lucky enough to travel a lot. And most places, people grow up doing the same thing. You want to eat, sleep, hang out with your friends, you know. If I had to move to the EU, which country would I move to? Is Iceland in the EU? Seems really out of the way. No? EU country. Britain! That's not... Right? I mean, wait. No? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, who's in the EU? I don't even know. Does there always be like Sweden and then people are like, Sweden's not in the EU. You're like, okay. Uh, here, I'll, I'll pick right now. Countries in the EU. Just because I don't want to deal with trying to sell Harry Maguire. Uh, Austria, Belgium, Bulgaria. I wouldn't have guessed Bulgaria. Croatia, Cyprus, Czech Republic, Denmark, Estonia, Finland, France. Finland. I didn't think they were involved in anything. Germany, Greece. Hungary, Ireland, Latvia, Lithuania, Luxembourg, Malta, Netherlands, Poland, Portugal, Romania, Slovakia, Slovenia, Spain, Sweden. Ireland, West Coast, Conmara Peninsula. That's where I would live if I had to live in the EU. That's my answer. I wouldn't have guessed Bulgaria. I mean, I just didn't think it was in the EU. I know... Fine. You guys want to see the most impressive thing you've ever seen in your life? Because I will do it again. Hold on. Let's go, baby! I haven't done this in a while, so we'll see if I can do it. Uh, what's it called? The empty map quiz? Um, empty... What, what's it... The full empty map quiz. What, what, what is it called? We're, I'm not talking about the flags. I'm talking about the empty map quiz. Empty map whole world. It's, not, it's something else. It's like, it has like buzzwords in it. Like um, minefield something. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, borderless map. 
Borderless bomb blitz, no as borderless bomb blitz, unclickable Kyrgyzstan. What the hell's going on here? What was that quiz that I did that one time? I learned how to do it while we were doing that simulation thing. Click geography. Okay. Sorry. Countries of the world, no outlines, minefield. Thank you. That sounds right. All right, you ready? I don't know if I can do it anymore. I used to be able to do it. Okay, so what did it say? Tunisia? Does it have a zoom in on this part? Got it. Okay, Palau. <laughs> Shut up. Like, I remember the freaking, um, like, I remember the Pacific. Oh, but I do, but I do, but I do believe in something. I do. I remember. There's no way I don't remember it. It's like, right, it's near Papua New Guinea. That's the Solomon Islands. It's like, right, it's not there. That's like Vanuatu. We'll come back to it. Indonesia, good. I can hit that. Okay. Um, France, really hope so. Bolivia. See, that's inland. We're going to wait for an outline. Malaysia. <sighs> we didn't want to accidentally click on Myanmar. Togo, absolutely no shot that I'm going to be able to click that out of this. Mali. I need like a nice coastal one on West Africa to work my way in. Zimbabwe, I should be able to get. It's on the coast, right? It's down over here. God, I haven't done this in forever. Good news, only have 18 and a half minutes left, so this is totally fine. Are we doing this again? I haven't done this in a long time. So this is... Zimbabwe's over here, but Mozambique is too. I think this is Mozambique, so we'll come back to Zimbabwe. Russia, I think I got that one. Guinea-Bissau... Not going to happen right now. Uh, Kosovo, you need uh, need the outline to be able to figure out where it is in here. Antigua and Barbuda. Oh, I'm so good. God, I'm good at this. That was insane. Kyrgyzstan, uh, the inland countries, you need, you need help. Okay, Hungary. Oh, it's inland, though. Like, it's, how am I supposed to hit that? It's, I need Senegal to find the Gambia. Trinidad and Tobago, boom, easy. Give me a challenge. Republic of Congo. Oh, God. I need DR Congo to find that one. Georgia, I'm, I've got lots of excuses. Oh, dude, what saw? It's left. Georgia's left, right? Armenia's middle and Azerbaijan is right. <laughs> oh! Oh! Cambodia. Vietnam, Laos. God, I have no idea. Thailand and Cambodia are both right in here. This is Myanmar. Croatia, I can get that. Namibia, I can get that. South Africa. Don't accidentally click on Lesotho. That would be the saddest thing ever. Comoros. Comoros, Seychelles, and Mauritania. It's one of these three. I think it's that one. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm not going to click Liechtenstein. That's not happening right now. Panama. My favorite canal. Mauritius. All right. I don't know which one's Mauritius and which one's Seychelles. I think Mauritius is the closer one to Madagascar. 
like I was saying, it's the farther one, uh, the farther away one upon further commitment. Uh, Latvia. I think Estonia's the top one. Bro, Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia. Good luck. Montenegro. Not on the coast. I'm going to pretend it's not on the coast. I think it's on the coast. Oh, Brunei. Wait, 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 wait. I can get that one. Oh, I got it. Yo, Cape Verde. Got it. Venezuela. That's Colombia. That's Venezuela. Burkina Faso. Ah, that's inland. It's like in here. Fiji. Somewhere over in this business, but I don't remember. Tuvalu. I said, I said, no! It's always Tuvalu, bro. It's always Tuvalu. Oh, uh, give me one more. Give me one more. Give me one more. Give me one more. It's always Tuvalu. I hate Tuvalu so much. Taiwan. Okay. I can get more than that. It was giving me hard ones, you know? It was giving me it was giving me the hard ones. Okay. Costa Rica. Easy. Uzbekistan. No shot. I'm clicking that right off the drop here. Cameroon. It's no, what? Why did I try? Why did I try to just click it? I All you have to do is be patient and outline in from the coast and you're fine. Why did I try to just send it? Senegal. Speaking of which, full send. Senegal. Oh, that was easy. I'm so good. I'm just going to end up getting punished. for. How did I miss it? I was like, oh, come on. All right, last one. Last one, last one, last one. I'm taking, I'm taking it seriously. Micronesia. Thank you. It took me forever for it to click. Okay. Equatorial Guinea. No. Resist the urge. Zambia. It's down here somewhere. Thailand. Antigua and Barbuda, fortunately. Already got that one. Uh, Ukraine. Nice. Uh, Algeria. Libya, Algeria, Moldova. Actually, because I have Ukraine, I should be able to get this. Except they're going to say it's in here. Are they? Oh, got it. Uh, Georgia. Easy. Liechtenstein, no. Samoa, literally not a chance. Marshall Islands should be able to get this. I did a whole video about the Marshall Islands. It's very, very small. But I think it's up here. That's not even on the map. I'm washed, chat. I'm completely washed. I'm completely washed. It's really hard realization to come to. That guy was right. I'm just completely washed. So washed. Oh, don't give up your day job. I, I've done it once on stream before. I did get it. Uh, as unbelievable as that may sound. I did get it once on stream. I got the entire world map. Oh, fiddlesticks, chat. Joey, thank you for the 18 months. Oh, uh, I was... Sorry. It's supposed to be muted right now, Joey. My bad. Can I interact with the board? Hey, Avram. Hi. I think we can achieve great things if we sign Usman Diamande. Uh, 
Josh, I'm glad you enjoyed the video, dude. Uh, we've become less peaceful since then. Atlin, thank you so much for the 32 months and uh, supporting the stream. Avram, 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 Avram. Delay the transfer a week. They won't accept the delay and they'll cancel the transfer. There it is. Uh, good thing I know how to play the game, you know? Freaking crazy how that works. I've been glazed. <laughs> That's good. I have been glazed. Now I want you to know. All right, we're asking all the right questions, seeing if we can move old Harold Maguire. Lou Vaughn, thank you for the three months, man. I'm doing a level 20 save in England. I'm on the 14th level. Any tips? Bro, level 20 to level 10 are going to be the exact same experience. Just keep doing what you've been doing. You're going to get the exact same experience out of it. Just take his wage and give me a little freaking money so I can go get a left back, please. A left back and a winger. That's all I, that's all I want is a left back and a winger. Please tell me we can do that. Please tell me. That's a little ambitious. We need to set all of this to 45 minutes. Varane's salary demands are too high. All right, Arsenal. Like, you aren't paying people, you know? Goodness, man. Seriously. Where are the Saudi clubs, brother? You should be groveling for somebody. I have an offer. I have an offer. I have an offer. It's... A loan from Arsenal for Harry Maguire. Transfers. A transfer. A uh, transfer. I got $923 unless I can move one of you idiots, and none of you idiots want to move. Just glad old Rasmus is back. All right, let's get this. Let's get after it. We've got the exact same team selected. We are playing at Burnley, and we should be able to deliver the goods. I believe in this team. I actually, our starting 11, I think, is pretty freaking good. Problem is, I don't really like the rest of our team at all. Now, there's just some things that I'm glad I can rely upon in the world of football. I'm playing at Burnley, and I'm going up against a 4-4-2. Some things are just wonderfully comforting. No pressure. I know you guys feel a lot of pressure, but seriously, no pressure. We're going in here. We're just looking to leave with three points. We've got a nice, easy start to the year with Luton Town and Burnley to ease us into it, try and pick up a couple of wins to rub together. That's perfect. That's how I would have designed the season as well. Who did I sell? I sold Lindelof to enter. For 15 million. And then I moved his wage into the transfer budget as well. Which was nice. Allowed us to make three signings. Taiwo Awani, Jonathan Ta, and Nicholas something or other as a backup center back from South America. I'm very happy with our central defense, which was a weakness when I got here. But now... Wow. Are we wearing green? We are wearing green. There we go. Kobe Minu. Oh, love the ball. Dude, how is he off? That looked wonderful. He missed it anyways, but he bricked it anyways. All right, Casemiro, turn it inside and pass it to him, and Bruno, and oh, Rashford. Oh, and he! I got blocked. That actually got blocked. Wait, hold on. 
I'm going to go back to the uh, the playlist that we were on because it's actually the uh, the first song on it. Hold on. I'm going to put this. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to start our playlist over. It's a great playlist we had today, and I'm trying to jam out to it again. <sighs> we should get an Anthony substitution emoji in the chat. Savage. Totally understand. Awaniyi. Good, strong hold-up play. Rash daddy. Dance floor. Taiwo Awaniyi! Oh, what a signing this boy is! Two goal contributions in two matches for Taiwo Awanii. Rashford invites him to dance, but his dance card was already full. Signing of the season. You're damn right. Taiwo Awanii was seven and a half million up front. A future payout that adds up to 29 million total transfer value. For a player with Bundesliga and Premier League experience that is a high mentality, good finisher athlete with good off the ball, you know, yeah, he's got issues with composure and um, not exactly an excellent facilitator, but he's strong enough to hold the ball up, and that's making it rain right now. Awani receives the ball. They can't push him off it. He lays it off and then sprints up the middle of the field. Easy. Oh! <laughs> Let's go, Veron. Shaw. Swing it. Swing it. Nice, Bruno. What are we looking for? Wide, maybe? Bruno? Nice. Rashford? Oh. Where do I apply for Zealand citizenship? I believe that's the subscribe button. But honestly, already being here and being in the chat, dude, you're one of us. Don't worry about it. A pleasure to have you, Ertola. You're part of the community. You're in the Discord. You're hanging out with people in the Discord. You're part of the community. Come on. Can't believe you signed a former Liverpool player. Who? Ta? Awanee's former Liverpool? Dude, I, I only learned about Awanee when he was at Union Berlin. I didn't know he came from Liverpool. He, he must have not have played much, right? <laughs> uh, he's... Oh, Anthony, let's go. Anthony. The human Beyblade. Oh. Kobe Minu, good spot. We're really controlling the match well now. Hey, creator of fear, thank you for gifting Erdola a sub. One of us. 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 <laughs> I didn't even know what that button did. Tanavoli, thank you for the two ones. Welcome back. Thank you for gifting the sub. Oh, yeah, they have Luca Colioso. Potential American national team player. Look at Casemiro doing his thing. Bruno Fernandez. And so we're playing through. Anthony. Oh, little yo yo. Little now you see me, now you don't. Casemiro keeping a lid on things. Oh, that was going right in the corner. It's a thunder bastard. You're doing well getting shots away. Keep it up. Yeah, I'm going to encourage you guys. Keep keep shooting that thing. Nort, thank you for the tier one. Two of us. Nice. Oh, that's not a bad ball there, Anthony. Oh, Bruno! 
Oh, with the layoff! Rash Daddy, you are joking! This will be a tough season, baby. Yeah, that's pretty spot. And dude, I that was oh, that was a good spot. Very well done by Bruno, who is absolutely crucial to this team. We have no replacement for him. Mainu. Kobe. Kobe. Oh, surely not. Oh, baby. Why didn't I sell Rashford? Because he's good. I sell people because I think I can get better money for what I'd get back from them, and I don't think I could get a better player from what I'd get back from Rashford. Oh, that was so good. Oh, my goodness. And it's Taiwo Awani again. But it's a brilliant team goal from Shaw to Casemiro to Mainu to Fernandez to Taiwo Awani. He has absolutely announced himself at Manchester United and it will be difficult for Rasmus Hoyland to overcome the kind of start that Taiwo Amani has put together. Just Bowles, thank you so much for the uh, prime. Enjoy the bacon. Enjoy the emotes. Oh, that's mine. Kobe with the play. Here, I mean, if he goes all the way and scores from here, I'm going to lose my mind. Taiwo's on a hat trick. Well done. Casemiro, Mainu, Bruno, Antony. Yeah, that's about right. Taiwo Awani. Antony. Going at him again. Oh, Juan Bissaka cutting in. Actually, didn't hate that bit of movement. Oh, Burnley. Under siege. Oh, go after him. Yes. Dude, cut inside the center back onto your left foot and then shoot. You've got that guy on his skates. There's no way he's going to be able to defend you with a quick cut in. Veron! Oh, Trafford, you're not even good. What are you doing here? That's just a terrible corner. Sub. Same sub basically every time. Garnachos, you're in. You're getting Antony, who once again has failed to impress, so the starting spot is available, should you desire it. Uh, McNuggets. And... Lisandro Martinez. Just kind of want to see how he plays over there. Should be fine. Also, Shaw is the only pure left back on my team, so. Like in this game, though. Very uh, round, solid performance. Sub. Who's tired? Trashford. I mean, Rashford. Um, could go Mount. Yeah, I'll go Mount. Rashford, get off. I want to put Mount in. I got one sub for injuries or cards. No, I'm starting Jonathan Tan for Ron. Thank you. And then Lissandra's coming off the bench. Up the line, up the line, up the line, up the freaking line. Oh, yeah, easy. Cookies. Cheddar. Mainu. Awani. Oh, oh! 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 
<laughs> Taiwo with all the hat trick was on his toe. Oh, he just destroyed that man. Oh, I'll tell you, man, just let me sign players. I know what I like. I know how to put Awani in a place to be successful. He is just a good player, man. He's going to have lapses sometimes, but he is just a good player. I did a personal save with Union Berlin like maybe two years ago, and Taiwo Awani was a superstar for me. His attribute profile I've just always loved. Just fits the way that you can play well in FM. My new. Good pressing forwards are, are, are just great. <laughs> nice. McTominay. My new. Bruno! He's coming in with some velocity. Um, I'm going to get Erickson some time. Don't want to get Bruno hurt with the last couple of minutes here. Like lions. All right, ta, right in front of you. Yes, beautiful. Hey, Erickson, Garnacho, Garnacho, Erickson. Oh, probably, dude. We have like four XG no penalties in this game, by the way. Probably over that now. How have we been so far? Uh, we won our first game 2-1 against Luton Town. We're up 2-0 at Burnley. Uh, transfers went okay early. We, oh my goodness. We had nice recovery by uh, Varane. That pass was unbelievable. Oh, uh, ref. Keep battling. What's the measure of success? Well, I mean, I got to win the league. Uh, I think if we win the league and win a domestic cup, we probably win because I would have two trophies. But obviously, if I like get grouped in the Champions League, I don't really have a leg to stand on because he made the Champions League final. The real point is we're just going to try and win everything that we can with United first season, which is very hard to do. <laughs> Uh, but you know what? We're, we're off to the right kind of start. We played two matches where we looked really, really good. Uh, and we're second in the league right now. Very early. I need friggin' sales is what I need, man. What if we win the Champions League and come fourth, for example? I think if we win the Champions League and come seventh, it's not a draw. But I think if I'm top four and win the Champions League, then it would be a draw. Because he would have the league, but I'd have the Champions League title. Hooray! Yeah. Got to squeeze. I'm like trying to squeeze more money out of a rock right now. Trying to move Erickson, Harry Maguire, and I forgot that I was working on Anthony Martial because I am very down for anybody that wants to take my oh Maguire loan offer. It's actually a lot of his wage. Oh, this is the intermediary deal that they've negotiated. It is actually a lot of his wage. Could I get 100? Could I get 100? They would take all of Harry Maguire's wage. Oh, I don't want to do that, though. Do I? Aruba's beating St. Lucia. I, I would say Aruba's probably better, yellow one. Uh, Aruba's actually where... Don, not Daniel Malin. What's his name? The fullback, that, the Dutch fullback that obliterated the U.S. in the World Cup. Denzel Dumfries. I just couldn't get the name Daniel Malin out of my head. Denzel Dumfries is from Aruba. He actually played for the Aruba national team and did a one-time switch. 
Aruba is a part of the ABC Islands with Curacao and Bonaire. Now, Bonaire doesn't really produce any athletes, but, but Curacao does. Curacao produces baseball players and footballers, and so does Aruba. Produces baseball players and footballers. Uh, you know what? We'll keep that offer in our back pocket, but I really, really, really want to transfer. The board just canceled the deal because they feel like it's too low. And Al-Shabaab and Al-Fateh believe the, way the players' wage demands are in excess of what they'd be willing to pay. How about this? Selling team salary contribution, I will gladly pay $3 million a year of his wage. Does that make him acceptable? Does that make somebody want to show up? Because I will take the money and I will take the majority. He played two friendly matches. Well, then he didn't need to use his one-time switch. But I know I, there are literally highlights of Denzel Dumfries playing for the Aruba national team. They exist. I've seen them with my eyes. Before AI. <laughs> we need to get a deal, man. We need to get a deal. We need a little financial. I, all I need is like 10 to 15 million of financial breathing room. And I can get... Two more players in, and I'd be so much happier. But we can't get that from anywhere, man. I like the fact that I can't recall Jaden Sancho and somebody legitimately. This is the dumbest loan of all time. Ten Hog, what were you thinking? I like Marcial still being under contract at the end of this year is just so funny to me. Uh, intermediary. Uh, uh, how, why are they paying Martial seventeen million a year? It's insane. Man's just been sitting there collecting a paycheck for a long freaking time. extremely interested. Hey, man, if you can convince Harry Maguire to leave, I'm all over it, all right? If you can convince Harry Maguire to leave, I am all over it. I am also all over a move for Adamola Lookman. That would be amazing, especially if we can defer that payment. Just a little bit. Frederick Osnes. Well, we are looking at amazing natural fitness, work rate, and stamina. Who doesn't like that? Tireless midfielder. Everybody sides with the tireless midfielders. Tangi Nianzu's only 21. Dude, playing saves into the future, you really lose perspective on how young some of these guys are. Yes, Martial is in a hefty bonus if he wins the Ballon d'Or, but I also don't think that's going to happen. Mason, you're getting paid way too much money and your value is crazy high. You care to entertain anything? You're definitely not going to be a regular player for me, Mr. Mount. He doesn't want to leave. Uh, I'm disappointed with how you've handled this. Look, Anthony. I'm surprised. <laughs> Zero dollars. I will offer him out for zero dollars if somebody wants to step in. Okay, I will pay half his wage. I'll pay half his wage. That's the highest I can go. I'll pay half his wage if somebody steps in and makes an offer for him. That's, you know, the money is the money. We need to get the money out of this that we can. Wow, this team is cursed. All right, McTominay just got hurt for a month and a half. Dalo just got a tight thigh. Ben Mar, thank you for the 20 months, dude. What makes him bad? How much money we're paying him? Uh, I, I, Mount just doesn't really fit into what we want to do. He's not skillful or overall athletic enough.
Oh, McTominay, dang it. God, stuck with these lemons. That's four teams, man. Somebody's going to make an offer, right? There's four teams interested in Harold. Somebody, please take Harry. Please. Yeah, I suppose I should check that, but it doesn't look like it. These are all guys that are moved down for fitness. Oh, Amari Forsen. I do like Amari Forsen. He's like, he's a championship player, though. He's just not quite there yet for Premier League, but I like him. If you're doing an English climbing save, he is a great person to get your hands on. Facundo Palestri, Alvaro Fernandez. Player cannot be recalled. Well, I do have that other dude, my first team that I could recall. Brandon Williams. Time to make a damn offer for Luke Shaw. I'd be open to entertaining it. I like Luke a lot, but the freedom afforded by a transfer is, you know, not is not not going unheeded right now. Do, 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 do. I'm just going to continue to make people aware of the fact that he is available, you know? That's just all I'm going to do. Just keep making people available of the fact, or aware of the fact that he's there. He's around. He's somebody that you can totally sign. If your heart desires a big slab-headed man, he's right there for you. He's right there for you. Hey, Martial kind of got fit a little bit, it sounds like. I think he scored a goal in the under-21 Premier Division match. Hoyland resumes full training, and now we're just out McTominay, Ahmad Diallo until January, and Terrell Malasia until March. Do, 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 do. At home against Sheffield United. Dude, we're literally playing the three teams that got relegated to start the season. That is awesome. Then we have Arsenal and Chelsea after that, but Luton, Burnley, and Sheffield. They are in six, though. This is an alternate reality. We got to be aware of that. All right. Hoyland's going to be on the bench here. Mountain Garnacho, Erickson, Amrabat, Harry. Do, 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 do. Uh, I guess Maguire stays in. Bench selected. Onana, Juan Bissaka, Ta, Varan, Shaw, Casemiro, Fernandez, Mainu, Anthony, Rashford, Awani. I'm going to go with Garnacho. All right. Cool with that. Hope you are. What formation you playing? Sure. Totally normal. Exactly what I expected. The 7 3 with wingers. James McAtee and Bim Brereton Diaz. What I expect from MM25, a completely different game than any football manager we've ever played before. Moving to the Unity engine is going to change everything about the game, not the graphics, like the menus, everything. I, football managers invited me out 
Uh, football managers having like their yearly kind of summit where they bring the football manager creators together in London. I'll be in London, not this weekend, but the weekend after it uh, for that. And so I'm, I'm really excited to, may, you know, maybe we'll be able to test play the game. That's wishful thinking, but like they'll at least be able to tell us more about what's in it. Because usually if, you know, the first time they did it la was last year when they kind of brought the creators around football manager together to talk about the game. And um, they, they, they basically started dropping features kind of after that, right? Because they talked about it. Uh, they, you know, they kind of explained what their thought process was and everything. Uh, so I will actually hopefully know something two weeks from now, but I don't know anything right now. Uh, pick up where you left off last time out. Getting a little complacent after our two wins. Baby. Nepal is winning. Let's go, dude. Touring any stadiums while you're there? Well, it's in the East London, so I will be running around the West Ham Stadium. Because <laughs> I'm starting my marathon training, and so I have to run. And so I will be running in circles around West Ham Stadium. You had some easy Premier League games to begin with? I noticed. We've played Luton at home, Burnley away. Now we're playing Sheffield United at home. But hey, man, I don't make the schedule. I just show up and play the games. And we have, you know what? That's an opportunity for a letdown. Some would say that's more pressure because if you don't win those three games, then, you know, you're not looking good. But we looked very good in our two wins so far. Shaw. One Basaka. Oh, nice pass. Good zip on the ball. Oh, get it. No, my new. Just get it to Fernandez there. Man, they're packed in. Oh, Casemiro with the line splitter. Rashford. Awanee. My new. Own goal, technically, officially, but that's just really well worked. That's back to Casemiro. What a freaking ball, dude. Lemons, thank you so much for the 11 months, by the way. I really appreciate it. Thank you. How come Ta? He's a good player, and he only costs 21 million. We sold Lindelof and brought in Jonathan Ta. Did Rashford pass it? Not so Trashford of him now, huh? Ooh, that should have been in. Such a... Bruno's corners have been so bad. Luke Shaw's are so dangerous. Then Bruno Fernandez just drills the front guy every time. No way. The long throw. Oh, that guy can't long throw. Why are they even doing that? Hey, Taiwo, let's go. Get on your horse, Taiwo. Oh, Garnacho. Okay, we have our defensive shape back. Don't panic. That looks like... I mean, I would have lost it if that went in. That was an absurd hit. Play it short. No, oh, Mainu! Kobe Mainu from Luke Shaw! It's a wonderfully worked set piece from Bruno Fernandes to Shaw. Mainu's volley with no, no margin for error. Easy. The Young Mamba. Should have two goals. Oh, ow. Oh, I'm stuck in a stretch. Oh, God. 
Good. Bruno Fernandes. Rashford. Shaw. Ta. No way he fit that pass in. He didn't. There you go. Take him. I want to eat. Dude, that's just the strength. That's just the strength right there. He receives the ball, and this poor guy is just left. He just protects the ball so well. He punishes weakness. He is looking like a steal. I, it's going to... Oh, I thought that was in. I, it's going to be very hard for Rasmus Hoyland to do enough to make me believe that Taiwan is not our best choice right now. Oh, get it back to the middle. Good. One more. Oh, that's a penalty every day of the week, brother. Every day of the week. Bruno, 0 for 1 on penalties this season. Here we go. Garnacho absolutely cooking a man over there. He's still flopping, by the way. He's still down on the ground. We respect the hustle. Bruno! Oh, that's brilliant! Sends it the wrong way. Bruno Fernandes with his second goal of the season. And the opening three matches and Manchester United are flying. Oh, another one. Bruno, he went for that. Fortunately, this is... Okay, that was the highlight. Whatever. Um... Like, it all still change. Uh, I stressed out Onana. Honestly, I don't really care. Just want us to stay focused in the second half. It's the Premier League. Any team can score one goal. Don't want to let them believe that they have a chance. Great pass. Great run. Best, you know, worst case scenario, a corner there. Ta. Ah. Keep. Thank you. Play it. Perfect. Bruno Fernandez. Nice. My oh, he's, he's off, isn't he? He's always off. He lives off. He was born offside. He will die offside. And the vast majority of the time in between will be spent offside. No reason to be offside in this position. What animal do I think sleeps the best? Bats. So far off. Dude, you have the speed and the movement to not be off there. Oh, good save. Hard to see in that traffic. Go. Do, 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 do. But the hero. Okay, um, Garnacha's trying to get his match sharpness up. We'll let that keep going. Kobe Mainu. Uh, I'm going to try Sufyan Amrabad in the Kobe Mainu spot. Luke Shaw is getting tired, so we'll go Lisandro Martinez. So for now. Oh, Lisandro already reacting positively to me hyping him up. We love to see it. I 
I can't call back Sancho, dude. So we, we are not able to call re, to recall Jaden Sancho. I would love to re... I'm paying half his damn wage anyways. I'd love to recall him, pay his full wage, and have a good winger on my team. We're a little thin in the good winger department. Got Mason Mount playing as a left wing almost exclusively. Amrabat, Casemiro, Garnacho, Keeper, Mod check. All right, I get Rasmus Hoyland a chance. How's his pressing forward credentials? Pretty good. We'll play him as a pressing forward as well then. Everybody knows me. All right, I'm gonna try a different change. We're gonna bring Anthony in and bring Hoyland in, but we're gonna move Mason Mount back to the box to box, move Amrabat all the way back. Look at that versatility that Mason Mount gives us. Shift. Demand more, come on. I don't know, man, we're already beating him three nil. We're doing our darndest. My man, uh, Newcastle bought my favorite player, but don't play him. How do I get him back? Wait for him to get upset and want to leave or be listed for loan. If he's really not being played as much as you or he thinks he should be, he is going to get upset about it. Happens all the time. Nice, Ta, that is a big time play. Anthony asleep. Nice, Ta. Shutting the door back there. Big fan here, you ever tried FIFA Manager 2024? No. FIFA Manager? I, I thought they made a FIFA Manager game way back in the day, but I didn't think that there was a new one. I, did they make a new one? That's an outrageous save, by the way. Not that it didn't matter too much, but I uh, know I've not tried it. Nestoria and Kunda scored for the Aussie first team. That kid's special. I don't know if he's special. Oh, little kick and chase. Go, 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 Garnacho. Go, Garnacho. Go. No, don't slow down now. Run that hundred meter dash, dude. Bruno. Okay. It's not real, it's a mod or uh, career mode or something. Oh, hey, Hoyland! He's off, never mind. That's two offside goals today. No, I mean, I used to play career mode all the time and not play any of the matches. I loved that. So that's what you're talking about. But I haven't done that since FIFA 2016. What are you doing, Aldo? Sort it out, mate. That's what I was thinking. Just kind of sort it out. This is nonsense. Nice, dude. Well done. Good result. Three matches, three wins for the boys. Same for Liverpool and Manchester City. So we might... Dude, Liverpool's goal difference is plus 12. <laughs> tough. It's tough out here. Ugh. Yeah, we're off to a good start. I think that's where we're gonna leave it here today. We can start. Um, we can start Friday with a 
uh, an intense deadline day where hopefully we're able to make some more moves to make the team better. But um, that is it for today. No stream. Well, there's usually not streams on Wednesday. Uh, we are going to raid somebody, so stick around for that. We're going to go make somebody's day in a second. Um, there, Thursday, we might be doing something special, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Will this be uploaded to YouTube? Of course it will. The live Zealand YouTube channel, Zealand Live. Uh, the full streams are also uploaded to Zealand Streams, uh, the channel. So you can also find the entire stream there forever and ever and ever and ever. And ever 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 and ever. Because the VODs on Twitch go away after 90 days. So the Zealand Streams channel is an important historical document that preserves, you know, every Zealand stream that's ever occurred. You ever had a favorite moment from a stream or what have you? Zealand Streams is there for you. All right, we've got the raid set up. Boom, right there, brother. Feel free to hop in it. Let's go make a dude's day. Thank you guys so much for hanging out today. I love starting a new save. I'm really excited for this challenge, and I'm honestly, I'm having a lot of fun with this team. It's such a weird challenge trying to make it happen, uh, but it is it is exciting and a lot of fun. Uh, thank you to everybody that subbed today, Fist Bump. Love you guys. Thank you so much for supporting the channel, and great to see you. Thursday, we might be doing something special, like a special type stream that has to do something like kind of around the Euros. Um, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Uh, if not, we'll be playing this on Thursday as well. I don't know. And a huge thank you to JCB for the ridiculous two, you know, 100 gifted tier two subs, which is absolutely insane. Cannot say thank you enough to uh, JCB for that insane 100 gifted tier two subs for jcb with that being said let's get a copy pasta how about the tree copy pasta that works copy it paste it blow the guys chat up make it super hype and um make it really cool for everybody and then behave yourselves you know see you guys soon the new save has begun hey, bye bye See you later. All right, word of the day. It's fine. Everything, everything will be just f all right. Foment. 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 To foment something, such as hostility or opposition, is to cause it or try to cause it to grow or develop. Foment is used synonymously with incite. F-O-M-E-N-T. Rumors that uh, the will was fake fomented distrust between the families. Ooh. Drama. <laughs> See you guys.